We've been rolling though. We rolling. We've been rolling for like five minutes. Yeah. You niggas don't get quiet. Oh, like we recording type. Yeah, we've been. Yeah, we've been. Yeah. We've been, we been rolling for like five right, minutes. Let's pick up where we started on in the garage. Oh yeah, right? I think we starting all over. I don't think it's gonna be. He's up on the garage. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the garage. What was we talking about in the garage? Uh, top five battle rappers of all. Of oh yeah, we could, we yeah. can start with that. We could, that. that. we could do that. We could do that. Cussing over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. So, so, you, so was it was it all time or was it right now? We gonna do all time. We are gonna do all time. Okay, cause if it's if it's all time, gonna it's all gonna time. be a different. I'm gonna have to change my mm -hmm. all time. All time. Well, you got yours ready? You got your, okay. You go first. Let me let me get mine together. Okay, now we doing all time, right? Yeah, all time. Top so five all time. All time. Right. All time. Mm -hmm. Number one, Cassidy, Easy Car. Number two. John John the Don. <laughs> oh hey, my <laughs> say it is what it is, bro. John John the Don. All time. Three, I'm gonna go Lo Lux. All time. Four, I'm gonna go Tay Rock. And then five, all time. Yeah, man, I'm gonna still I'm, I'm gonna keep Gigi in there. You don't, you don't got murder You said murder move? No, I never said Mook not in your top five? All time? Yeah, he gotta be in mine. How, how's I Cassidy in your I top respect, five? I respect murder I told you. not murder move. Look, with murder move, my thing with him is he does not broadcast his skills enough. So <laughs> people will overhype something that he says and ride a certain bar that he spits. And that that'll last that'll last him six seven months through the year. So he gets no credit for he gets no credit for his history. <sighs> what history? Getting cooked by Jay Mills, bro. He got getting cooked by. Did he? I don't know if he got cooked, but even if he did, is that the only thing in his history? He that's don't get no credit. Yeah, that's why. That's what you remember. I'm gonna keep it a beam. Like I respect Mook. Like I respect him. I just don't think he's the guy that everybody, you know, I don't think he's up there. Before, before. He was the first one, he was one of the first ones to bring battle rap, like, to, Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. The like, forefront. Like, I respect him. Like, you feel me? I respect him. Which is like the Jordan, it's just like the Jordan debate. I respect him. He was the first to, he was like, that's why came around. But you two came around, he was like. That doesn't make you one of the best. But he was out there cooking shit, like. Period. Uh, if you got to go all the time, you have to put Mook in there. So it's going to be Mook, Lux. I can take Cass out because for battle rap, I'll take only Smack, DVDs. Uh, I only take Smack DVD and You Are Real. Then the new era about RBE, these new platforms where you battle at. So I'm definitely putting, I'll take a grind time. I'll take a grind time. I'm not taking you niggas, the outside battles. I'm not taking those outside battles. Only for Mook. I, for niggas that was out there that was legends, that's real legends. Like, Math is a legend, but he wouldn't be one of, in your top five. Like, just because you, longevity don't make you an all time GOAT. Or Arsenal. Yeah. Or Arsenal. Longevity don't make you something. Yeah, because Arsenal always talk about how many, how many battles he got in all the countries he battled in, but I mean. I mean, DNA been doing it for a minute yeah. too. I, ne I never liked DNA, I never, bro. I never, I never liked, liked DNA. DNA. I always respected him because he, he he got some nice performances, but yeah, like, I, I never really liked him. He got some shit. I, I, ne really I never really liked him. You need, shit, you need that? No, I was oh, okay. Like, you never? I never really seen him cook nobody like that. Nobody? Bro. DNA, okay. I never seen DNA cook nobody like that either. I mean. All right, well, yeah, my top five, I'm going. Moop, Lux. I think I would want to put Hitman or Verb. I'm not putting both of them. So pick, pick, one, pick how you want to <laughs> Hitman or one. Verb. And if I had to pick one, I'm probably going to go Verb. Surf, T-Rex. I respect that. T, you cannot... I respect put T not put T Rex in your top five man, of all could, time. You not put but why? Man. I was about to say. You crazy? I'm not mad at you for putting them, but you could not put. Him. Yeah, like, nah, he's not one of. He put John John. You could miss you that. Could, you put John John. Yeah, the Rex, Rex would be there way before John John. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying I, I get. Mean, I don't know. Cass? We talking about John John is one of the people, one of the four, one of the faces of the new generation of battle rap. The reason why he's so jumping and you know he was one of those people who was on them cars. 
putting that work in. Hitman was his victim. But I mean, I feel like, like if that you was his. That, that was his. Dollar, to me, that was his claim to fame. That's where he it became was. a household name. That was. Me. But I feel like Summer if you put in Cassidy there, it's more so off a of hearsay. What better event to do it got at than Summer Madness? You only got freeway. You got to be one of them niggas. Summer Madness is that's the Lions Den. You already know. No, no, no. See, 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 see this sucks. So how he got that battle? He begged for that battle. Come on, Cass. No, well, because John, he was ready for it. He begged for that battle. He, he didn't. He wasn't on the card. He put so they got into it at an event before that, and they was arguing in the parking lot, and all that. It went. It got so viral that Smack just had to put it together. Like, all right, if and it was up to Hitman. Like, you don't got accepted, but I got I got a bag for you if you do take it. Mm-hmm. And at that time, John John was nothing. He was like the PG guy. PG was like the lowest total pole you could be in battle rap. It was the D League. Yeah, it was the D League basically. Or yeah. League, yeah. yeah. Okay. No. And he put up a fight that. He put up a fight and what you remember is Does him, re- him remixing Hitman bars. He didn't that's kill what, that nigga. That's what I don't like about him. He like what's the nigga from Mortal Kombat? Shane Shane Soon? Yeah, he <laughs> take nigga's <laughs> power. <laughs> power <man. laughs> yeah, he Kirby. He He said he Kirby. Uh, <laughs> oh no, you talking about Yoshi Mitsu. You can copy nah, the nigga? Nah, nah. nah. The nigga from uh I said, take, right, right, copy, I said, I said take him. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, or Kirby, like he just take people, he take people uh, punch lines and mm-hmm. they use it against him and try to use it against them. That's all He'll take their best bar and then flip it a little bit. ABC, uh, multiple choice type of remix. He stole multiple that. choice from Sirius Jones and yeah. he stopped using it once Sirius put it out there and shit like that. That's crazy. He did? That's crazy <laughs> to me. We, he, that multiple choice wasn't Sirius? That was serious, don't you? If you get something and make it better, first of all, I don't I don't know one battle rapper that has not rebuttaled or tried to rebuttal the person that he was battling. I like John John, man, but too early on in his career, he had too much biting and reaching, bro. That's the same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. He was stealing. He wasn't he was stealing. <laughs> yeah, it was too much it was too much, it was too much stealing yeah, and reaching, bro. He was a thief. You say a bar in front of him, you know he gonna flip <laughs> yeah, he, gonna, he like that. Oh, that's some fly shit. I'm mm-hmm. talking about <laughs> that. I think he used to be that. back there with the no, pen no, and pad, like ooh. We right nigga shit. We're not, we not gonna put some mud on that man. He that's yeah. what he was doing. We're not gonna do that, bro. It's a reason he got a reputation for that, bro. It's a reason he got a like he was like, he even owned it. He's like nigga say I like to steal, I steal this. Like he even turned it like he would turn it into bars. He just he started started owning it, bro. Like that's that's that just adds to what I'm saying, bro. I respect that's him for doing it, but it's a reason why he got that reputation is what that's I'm saying. His power to take what's being Deflected or, or you feel me thrown at him, but it wasn't and being sent thrown it back at to his him. Opponent in the a better bar- form, in a sharper form, in a more dangerous form, in one that's gonna hit harder. Uh, my Guys, thing, fans gonna react more. You my whole thing with that is the bars that you said, like oh, take will be used against you. He's not rebuttaling the bar that they just said. He's rebuttaling the bar that they said in another battle versus somebody else. He's, yeah, that's not rebuttaling. But this, I mean, it's part. It's all the same but thing. Bro, it's like you gotta think like his goat is Lil Wayne. What's Wayne best for doing? That's not my goal. That's not Wayne your goal. Yeah, you know, let's get on it. That's your goal. Never, so put, you got to put this. You like, he likes to put things on Wayne. his dead homies. He likes to put things <laughs> on. Like, he likes to put this on his dead homies right now. I didn't say my goal is Tupac. I never said that. Okay. Well, yo, okay. Yo, you like Wayne. Wayne, yeah, your top Wayne three, is, right? Yeah, 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 and there's no yeah. shame in me saying that. I'm asking. But I'm saying, I see how you like Wayne. Wayne is when he was at his best. He was on jumping on other people. He wasn't his original music. It was him jumping on other people's beats and freestyling over it, maybe taking eight kids. Remaking their song, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing their song over. He was just doing their song over with his lyrics on it. That's why I never gave him props for that. He was like, I'll hop on any nigga's song and make a part to him. Like, it's exactly. easy to exactly. improve on a hit, bro. You're a hit maker, and you're taking a hit and just improving on a hit, yeah. bro. Why? It's not easy to do. do it. It's not easy to do. I'll take it's that back. Easier. It's not easy it's to do. But for a nigga like him who live in the studio... And, all, and like he said, it's not like he's making a whole new song. He's taking the cadence and the whole scheme of what they was doing and just making a, a different version of it, bro. But we taking away from Lil Wayne. Up, that's who he is. But how many niggas live in the studio? It's not too many artists who actually live in the studio. He's one of the rare breeds. It's future I mean, they say Chris Brown live in the studio. I don't hear him remaking nigga shit. There's a reason to tell you who's his big homie. Wayne, took, like that's yeah. his big homie. He, yeah. Fine. He, maybe he See, got living in the studio from Wayne, but I'm talking about the product that comes out of living in the studio. Yeah, Chris Brown man, out here making his music that everybody loves. Ori- I mean, not completely original. Not just the original Under the Sun, but exactly. you know what I'm saying? But we Wayne was making, nigga, 
re <laughs> Wayne was rebutting niggas' songs Make and making his own fine. version of it, nigga. I like original. I like more original music. Like. I, I, I give more credit to them. And I was a big Wayne yeah. fan. Let me let me not, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me pretend like I wasn't. I was a big Wayne fan. But you got I gotta call it spade a spade. But yeah. my top five battle rappers probably would be Moot, Tay Rock. Damn. Moot, Tay Rock, Lux, Rex. And probably surf, bro. And probably surf. Mm, that's a tough one. Mm. Probably surf. I think my I think my top five is same around the same thing. I got I got Moot. I got Lux, Moot, Tay Rock for sure. That's how who else I like that put in a lot of work. Uh, yeah, Tay Rock had a run to that that was undeniable. Yeah. I mean, I, I like Charlie Cliff. So I ain't put, I wouldn't put him in the top five of all time, even though he did. About five years ago, I probably would have had him in oh, there. Lord. Honorable, oh, mention. Lord. honorable mention. He ain't honorable no fuck. Mention. He not a. He not no honorable mention, bro. <laughs> and then the, half his battles, he didn't have a third. But that's he came out the way nobody had like an opening rollout like Charlie Cliff. Like. Yeah, yeah. He so he got out, like, he, he got was cocky. Too crazy. He got cocky because he before came out cooking shit. Like before mm -hmm. they was talking about the Charlie. Yeah, he was, he was cooking shit before we he even seen him. Over. He was just coming out cooking shit. But he one of them street legends that used to exactly. do it they before like before the before we seen him before the cameras. He used to. Mm -hmm. He cooked Tay Rock they And that's what out. That's what made him a legend <laughs> He cooked Tay Rock yeah. Cooking Rock yeah. Made him a I legend made you, made you some rock set And made you legendary Yeah <laughs> I made you legendary man. Yeah he cooked the nigga And then Rock came back In 30 Yeah Yeah He yeah. came back in 30 yeah. No 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 Rock, no killed, debate. Him. rock killed him that. Rock was that's on that run. He started that run. Yeah, Rock was on that run. That's when he started feeling this stuff after he <laughs> came back and killed Clips. No, nah, he, he was feeling it when he, uh, when he killed, uh, what's the dude's name? Oh, uh, Rick K. Rick, Sean. K oh, no, no, no. He killed Reed, too. Remember on the big stage? I didn't see that before. That was before K. Sean? No. No, no, yeah, you're right, you're right. Because he, he was, was already down by when he beat him. He beat Kaboom, and then he beat yeah. uh, K. Sean. And that made him die mob. Going his little row right there. So from top battle rappers to <laughs> to top power forwards, my guy Doe got you got Giannis as the top power forward of all time. You standing by that still? Yeah, I'm still standing by that. There's nothing that y'all gonna be. You said of all time already. You said of all time. Of all time. Said. And That's he's definitely saying. gonna be. It, okay, if y'all wanna argue that he isn't right now, whatever. Uh huh. But he definitely will be at the end of his career. He been eight years in the league. Hey, he he got every. He got. He got damn near everything you can have. He only twenty seven. Exactly. So he, got a, he got a long way to he go. He got a long way to go. When you say best, though, do you mean like his accolades will say he's the best, or his his on the court skill will say he's the best? It's a, it's up to y'all. It's how y'all want to say it. Because I mean, I they I think that they was calling Timmy the best before he had five rings, and they were saying that because he had won a ring and because of like what he did on the floor, like niggas couldn't check him, they couldn't stop that bank shot, his footwork was impeccable. Before he had five rings, they called him the best. You know what I'm saying? So are we talking about what you do on the floor or the accolades or everything all together? Like, how we doing? Even if you want to say, I feel like what we do on the floor. Y'all, the, the LeBron thing that was used before, mm -hmm. where he could play one through five. I feel like Giannis could play everything but the two. Most of the time, he could bring the ball up. He does plenty of times. Y'all keep saying, like, oh, no, he don't. Yes, he did. He, uh, on fast breaks. I mean, on, mostly on the fast breaks, he, he brings the ball up. Yeah, but, and, 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 I, and you know, last night it was. Can, can Draymond play the point? Yes. Yeah. Draymond. He brings the ball up all the time. He, run, he runs the offense. He doesn't yeah. just bring the yeah. ball up. Giannis will bring the ball up, dump it to the wing, and then go down to the block or go down to the pinch post. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He's not running the offense. Draymond to come down and run the offense like no nigga go set the screen go to the corner he's setting niggas up Giannis don't do that he pass the ball and run to a spot or go set a screen he's he the best power forward in the game right now he probably is right now yeah, right now right now yeah he is right now he better Not than no AD man don't get me started no AD he's better than AD no are we talking numbers is he statistically better than AD could take a team yeah. AD could take a team skill wise no AD can do everything AD, AD can really take a team to the playoffs 
<laughs> maybe two Thank out of seven years. AD got his shit before this man got his shit. So with LeBron James, yeah, it is what Giannis it is. Got his hey, it, it is what it is, bro. He got the E in the West. Nah, Giannis not better than AD. Bro. Is in the East. I used to think he was. Giannis not better than AD. Giannis got that championship. Who you was taking him? What major team? If you was drafting a team and you had to pick one of them first, bro. You taking you taking AD? Everybody was hurt, including us, the Lakers. Everybody was hurt. He had nobody. That's valid. That's valid. He had nobody to worry about. He was supposed to dominate the finals. He was supposed to. If if you if we, if I was about to say we starting a team right now and it's my pick and both of the niggas on the board, I'm taking Giannis, bro. Exactly. That's easy call. That's yeah. easy call. I'm not even gonna think twice. Exactly. I, mean, I respect it. I respect it. I just think it's taking AD? I just think it's full. I'm taking A D. You're gonna have a 40, 40 I was about to say Giannis go do AD. more than AD. Yeah, let's hear that. I can put any type of player around him. I can't put any type of player around Giannis. You can't what can't you do? I can't put a player just like Giannis around Giannis. I can put somebody just like AD. I can put he can play next to somebody like Demarcus Cousins. It worked out. They was getting thirty and thirty. To, like it was, they was killing. Well, it what, what, it what, didn't what, lead what? to no wins though, bro. They, did. they went to the playoffs. Oh, that's that's oh. wins. That's the they were they went they were playing for the New Orleans Pelicans, bro. Who, what does that mean? What do they what do they do? I just Chris Paul. Mark, Mark, I'm Mark. saying you take you taking away credit from what this man was doing. Was like, not taking away credit. We talking about what they like when they was leading the team. Who led their team further? Not taking away credit. We just stating the facts. AD or Giannis took his team. He just won a ship, nigga. You're right, but who's in? Is the West the gauntlet or the East is the gauntlet? The West. Okay, so you think Giannis is losing in the first round if he's the best player I think on? He's losing nah, the first round. Giannis, nah. Giannis and that's all. And that's all AD did as the best player on his team. Get the best of DeAndre Ayton out of in seven games. He already did. I don't think he, he got, did that. He already did. It wasn't the best out of it. The first two games he didn't get the best out of. Um, in the seven games, you said the seven games. Yeah, he, seven, he, he got the best. He beat them. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a fact. That's not an ass. <laughs> he beat that nigga, bro. Hey, like, and DeAndre Aiden looked scared them last few games. He didn't want no parts of that, bro. Did, did you watch? That's, the, not yeah, that that's not a good example. That's not a good example. Did you watch the Bucks versus the Lakers game when they? I did. Yeah, what what Giannis do to them niggas? Or which one game? Which game are you talking about? The, late, the latest game they played. The last time we played them. The, yeah, the last time. Yes, bro. We told him Brian locked him up. No, Bro wasn't there. Bro didn't play the game. What game are you talking? Oh, we just played yes. this year. Yeah, yeah he beat like forty something on y'all, something like that. No, did you watch the game? And he, he was, was bullying. bullying. He had twenty points in the fourth quarter. He got all his points from free throws. That's right. No, he was coming down. He had twenty three, points though. in the fourth, bro. I watched. I definitely remember that game. Yes, and they they kept calling, 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 calling. Yes, when he came screen, back, man, down, man. put it up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Stats up on the screen. Like, we already know how it goes, man. <laughs> I got you. Hey, you, you got, you got, got, so you got the HDMI plug in the laptop. Yeah, I ain't got the screen. Okay, man. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He hit like at least four threes on y'all. Pull up, just pulling up in transition. And he was bullying AD. He wasn't bullying. Nobody bullies AD. I mean, this to me, AD is one of the more overrated players to ever. I can say the same thing about Giannis. I can say the same thing about Giannis. Yeah, 47 points. Like, come on, I know what I'm talking about, man. You know that. That must be a different game, man. <laughs> <laughs> 47, 9, 3. All right, still goes. How many free throws did he shoot? I need yeah, to see all that. Yeah, I think he's got his box. He's got his box. No, stats is a technical issue. Yeah, it's show him. He probably got to go like the advanced yeah. metrics type. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to me, AD is one of the more overrated players. He he got crowned. He get crowned for not doing. He got the most talent, but he get crowned for not doing nothing. nothing yet. He get crowned for his potential. Yeah, he get crowned for his potential. And he's already yeah. stepped into a lot of that potential, but he still I, I agree with that. You've been saying that for a long time. For a long time. You been you you stuck to the script on AD for a long time. I give you that. I give you that. I'm a believer in that now though. Let me ask you guys this question. Was he better before he got to the Lakers or has he played a little bit softer since he got to the Lakers? I think both. I think he's been a better player and played softer. I think he's been a, a better player. He's been more league. skilled and like a little slightly more dominant, but he's been so injury so, prone right, and so let's soft. Go back to okay. So if you're bet, so the numbers don't matter then when we're talking about being the best. His numbers were not nowhere near as low as they are on the Lakers, bro. He was torching the league when he was on the on the Pelicans. But but to Rodney's point, was he winning and doing that though? You know what I'm saying. But we're talking about his personal show broadcast. Like we're talking about his personal skill. Yeah, and and I think yeah, when man. when you talk about who's a top player and who's top five and who top for their position, like. The Bucks weren't good for a long time, bro. The Bucks weren't good for a very long time. You talking about who they are right now, though, right? Knocked off by bottom by bottom feet and having a hard time with the Pacers, bro. 
That's a fact. That wasn't that, that long Until ago. Until Giannis came into his they own. They just got a ship last year. And what are they doing this year? They're not winning. It's a lot of niggas was losing until they started winning, bro. They're not yeah. one of the best teams in the league. <laughs> Y'all not one of the best They're teams. They're not one of the We won. didn't win the championship last year. Y'all won a year before that. We didn't win the championship last year. Y'all didn't win the year before that? We did not win the championship last year. We're talking about Giannis. Giannis Our team. Gonna, Giannis going to take his team to the playoffs every, every year. It don't matter. If he get knocked out the second round, third round. They're going to have a chance to go. He's in the East. If you take AD and swap them out, it's the same thing. No, nah, I don't believe so. Yeah, I don't believe so. It's, it's the same thing. And I like AD. I'm a Lakers fan, bro. Like, I like AD, but that I, I just don't believe no. that. But playing for the Lakers is different than playing for any other team. That's true. What, I mean, like, what, what does that mean? It's different. You play, you, it's, a ment- it's a whole mental thing. Like, if you really, like, pay attention to niggas' careers and, like, numbers, and, when they come to the Lakers, everything kind of comes down a little bit because it's more than just – Making a shot is more than just proving that you're the best. Like now, we are expecting you to win. These people come out here with these endorsement deals. They're trying to establish themselves as elite humans. You feel me? They come to LA to do that. LeBron James came here to do that, and he had to understand his first year. Like it's not going to be a cakewalk. Bro. You think that's what AD came for? Yes, for sure. He's AD came. AD's. AD came to win because he came. He could win on his own. If AD was here to win. He's doing the same thing Kyle Kuzma's doing. Nah. He's streaming. I'm telling you what he's doing. Okay. After the games, he's going home and he's playing video games. And he's streaming online. He's not in the lab. He's not trying to get his body stressed. He's, he's not doing that. You know what Kyle Kuzma doing? He's over there that's my point, but, chill with Kardashians or something like but that's that. That's my point, though. That's <laughs> not, I'm just saying. Yeah, because, you know, when you come to the Lakers, it is a different hair. type of pressure that can break and has broken plenty of players over time, bro. Y'all, y'all won the most championships. Look at Lamar Odom. We crushed him. Like, we crushed him. And I, I'll feel Lamar bad. Like, yeah, that's, that's not what happened. happened. That's, that's, I'm telling you. That's, 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 that's my point. He, look, he got six men in a year, and we traded him, bro. He was hurt when we traded him to Dallas. That yeah, was a bro. fact. What is that? But that, but that doesn't speak to your point about it's different yeah, playing in L.A. It is. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't fall apart and get on the drugs and his life fall apart because he couldn't take the pressure and of, the, of the L.A. media and being a Laker. He would, he loved being a Laker, and when that was taken away, exactly. that's when his life fell apart. Exactly. So being a Laker ain't what messed him up. It's not being a Laker that's what messed him up. It's both, bro. It is both. You have to be. But there's he was a fine. He was a Laker, There's a brainwashing that goes on to be a part of this organization. Come on, bro. Come I've on, been here long bro. enough. Come I've on, been here bro. long enough. I I've know. been a Laker fan my whole life too. I know how it goes. It's all in. We're all about winning. Like that is a fact. That is a but fact. If, if Lamar Odom would have retired as a Laker, he would have never had none of that drama in his life. But he didn't retire as a Laker. So, but, but my point to saying that is it's not him being the L.A. spotlight is not what ruined his life. Not being a Laker, not being a part of that, 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 that gold, that, that gold Lakers, know. you know what I'm saying? He couldn't move on. He was getting paid more money to go to, to play in Dallas. He could not move on and let go of the Laker. Like, how? How did it not affect him? He couldn't let go. How could you say that? That's not yeah. true, though, bro. That's not true. He couldn't let it go. This is a fact, bro. That's like that's he like if some that's like if somebody that's, that's, like, if somebody, that's like if somebody got a crazy attachment to their granny and their granny passed away and now they life fall apart. That's like saying their granny was never good for him. No, their granny no, was great for him and now their granny not here that's and they messed up now. That. What I'm trying to get to, what I'm saying to you is <clears throat> before Lamar Odom got to the Lakers, he was not about winning basketball games. He was about Lamar Odom putting on the show, okay. being a personality. When okay. he got to the Lakers, it was about winning championships. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. So he's got to see what it felt like firsthand about what it means to win championships. He came up short in that final series, and we got rid of him. That is a fact. That's why I said we did him bad. Lakers organization is different. Playing for us it is different. There is a certain level of expectations that are just more intense than other places. That's why people can go to Washington. They can go in Milwaukee. They can play in Golden State, and it can they can turn those places up because they don't. People are not expecting you guys to win night in and night out. And if you lose, the whole league is not talking about you. LeBron James doesn't even play every single night. His mouth is on the every announcer. I mean, his name is on every announcer's mouth. Night that's in, LeBron. night out. That's I'm saying though, but it's on the Lakers too. That's not because he plays for the Lakers. Lakers. Like Russell Lakers. Westbrook, LeBron James we haven't LeBron heard James. no yeah. praise on Russell Westbrook. This man is averaging over 20 points a game, over eight boards a game, over eight assists a game, over 50% shooting, and nobody's no, talking about it. Yes, it is. Shooting. I have him on my fantasy team. It's That's not, how I know. Bro, it's not. I have it's him on my fantasy team. Hell, and I shoot over 50%. <laughs> yeah, he shoots <laughs> over 50%. No, From the line, barely. Free throw. <laughs> he's, a, he's more efficient than we give him credit for. Nah, you, 
it's never about stats for Russell Westbrook. You got to actually watch him play and you see, like, mm-hmm. man, this what dude is messed up right, right now. This dude, what we're doing right now is curating. We're getting ready to curate wins, a win streak. I sure hope so. Like, that's what we're working on right now. The numbers, that doesn't matter. We can get in there. He's shooting 44%. We can. That's low? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's, not, that's, that's low. That's not, that's not considered high, bro. Steph Curry shoots 43% from the three, and they said that was high. The three in the field and the field is two different things. Yeah. Great. He's shooting 44% from the field. So you got to shoot 50%. You got to shoot 48%. No, you just said he was shooting How many players are shooting 48% from the field? No, I'm just saying you said Kevin Durant's not shooting 48% from the field. I can guarantee you that. Kevin Durant shoots. Bradley Bill's not shooting 48% from the field. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Bradley Bill, no. No. So what are we talking about? Trey Young's not shooting 48% from the What are we talking about? And a lot of times, uh, Westbrook, is finish, he's finishing at the rim. It's like he, he also he can do lead anything. turnovers, too. He can, he can do anything. He I mean, you guys, he has a lot of responsibility in his hand, bro. Like, you got to rebound, push. I never seen a, I never seen a superstar vet turn a rock over as much. KD as shooting fifty four percent. You sure about that? Yeah, bro? like come on. There is a man Westbrook. named James Harden. There is a man named James Harden who right. throws the ball. Westbrook has always turned the ball over, bro. In crucial, just like crazy times. Like that goes trying to play, play on the same team together. They were making the same shit. mistakes right next to it. each other. I feel you. Like, like come on, Westbrook has a history. It's going back to they when he played with both. KD, bro. Neither, neither one of them have escaped it. Russell Westbrook doesn't do anything worse than the next man. It's not. A lot of people didn't want to play with Russell Westbrook. A lot of people didn't want to play with Russell. Like, James, they had one year together, and James was like, nah, like, it's not going to work here. That man called Kawhi, and Kawhi yeah. called yeah, Kawhi, like, like, he not, PG balled him. It's like, hey, he was, like, hey, that man trying to leave you. I'd rather have you. You want to come? Yeah, like. But just, just to. Get back. I don't even know if it was a thousand topics. Yeah, four or five superstars didn't want to play with him. But yeah, all I wanted to just elaborate on here. The Lakers playing for the Lakers is different than playing other places. Your numbers are not going to be as high. Like, your true. numbers are not going to be as high. They said the same thing about the Knicks. Me playing for the Knicks or yeah, back in the day when it was jumping. Like, they still yeah, say that it was the mecca. Like, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? It's the pressure coming out there. Everybody's watching you. Companies watching you. Everybody, you know, got their stake in some type of way in you. Like. It's pressure. It's heavy. Yeah, but a lot of people go out there and have their best season on the Lakers too. Like, yeah, you go both ways because you want to show so fun. you yeah. want to broadcast your skill. That is the game. That is the team. That is the organization to do that. That's why this stuff. We bring the best out of people. Yes, we do. That's been yes. They want to beat us bad. Yeah, we bring the best and the worst out of them. Yes. <laughs> and we do bring the best and the worst. It is very much. That's Los Angeles. Is it not? Does it not bring the best and the and the worst out of you? LA, that's the embodiment of what LA is. You can get the worst and the best out of people out of that shit. Like, come on, man. So one down, go down the street, this is like this. Go up the street, this is like that. Like, is that's literally what LA is. Like, it's the embodiment. You feel me? Like, it's cutthroat. Is LA cutthroat? Yeah, LA okay, cutthroat. Okay, the Lakers organization is cutthroat, bro. You can be good. We traded Shaq. Shaq wanted to be traded. Uh. He wanted Kobe to be traded. Yeah, he's saying either me and him. He wanted Kobe to be traded. He said either me and him. He wanted Kobe to be traded, bro. Yeah. But he was like, he was a man though. I'm out of here. Fuck you. I'm cool. We just, I get it. But it's like we cut through. Like we cut through. <laughs> we all got, we all got coming out the, uh, out the west and out the east in the NBA. I know it's still early, but what, what y'all, what y'all, out the west? Yeah. Both teams from the west and the east. We got clear, clear, clear. Warriors. Yeah, Warriors, okay. okay. Like I got Warriors versus Brooklyn, man. Like still got Brooklyn? Brooklyn? Yeah, I still got Brooklyn. What you gonna go? You gonna go Brooklyn? I might, I might have the bullish shock in the world. I was about to say, I, I think I got Chicago right now. I know it, it might sound foolish because it's early and ain't none of them really proven like that. I mean, Crusoe got a ring, but ain't nobody really proven like that. But when I play off, it's, yeah, it's gonna get tight. In the, in that's the true. Series. That's but true. It's hard to run with four guards night in and night out. You feel me? DeMar, DeMar DeRozan, Alex Caruso, Levine, and Ball. Seven games chasing these niggas around, bro. They're going to make niggas yeah. tired for sure. Especially if they don't get Kyrie. So you got the bro. Bulls coming out too? Ah, it's close. East. It's close. You got Brooklyn? Yeah, I still got KD doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> KD. Like, I got him. He's average. This nigga going crazy this year. Like, it's being, it's silent, but he's going crazy this year. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't want to see Brooklyn. I think it's going to be too tough for him to do by himself. I don't see James being the same James with the new, the way they not calling them offensive uh, or the fouls no more and stuff like that. I don't see James being the same James, bro. You know it's going to be different. Adjust? What do you say? You don't think he's going to adjust? It ain't looking too good right now, man. I don't know. 
I don't know. He he patent he he structured so much of his game around that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's a fact. That's so a fact. I I don't know. I don't know. So who you got coming out? I got yeah. I got the war right now. I got the Warriors and I got the Bulls right now. Bulls, huh? Yeah, I'm liking the Bulls. The Bulls look nice, bro. Like I said, it feel it feels a little foolish because mm-hmm. ain't none of them really tested like battle tested like that. But they looking good, bro. Crusoe they looking good, and I don't really believe it. Yeah, Crew Crusoe got her, and I don't really believe in nobody else in the East like that. <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard to say that when the Bucks just want a ring. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't. I don't really see it for nobody, and I don't really fully see it for the Bulls right now. Honestly, they just look better than everybody right now. Yeah, exactly. They click from the jump. Mm-hmm. What's crazy is the Nets still have a better record than them. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Bulls is just shocking. Like it's more. That's true. But I think they split the series one right. one right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you come, that's what I'm saying. Like they here, they making noise. Like, nah, they they balling for sure. You know? I just think about Dan. He should he need to leave. Oh yeah, yeah he do. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's, my, that's, boy, that's my that's my favorite player, man. And I I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him do what K what KG waited too long to do. You know what I'm saying? And it just I don't know, man. And now they saying like he always been playing with this abdominal injury and it's really getting to him now. It's like who knows what's gonna happen with this nigga, man. But yeah, he do need to leave though. He do need to leave, but I doubt he will. I think he 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 made it too much of that that old school stuff. He got too much pride. His ass, his ass needs to stay where he at, man. <laughs> <laughs> he even talk too much shit about other people. I ain't going. That's real. Anyway. That's no, real too. You ran your mouth too much. Uh, That's real too. You ran your mouth now. Stay where you, where you at. Yeah, all the Instagram posts and all that. Yeah, you got you was running all your mouth about people switching teams and you gonna stay loyal. So not, nah, I don't want to hear it now. Well, what's the best bet for Ben? Where he need to land? Mm. The best bet or most realistic? The best, the best position for him to go. The best team. Golden State. Yeah, we're going to stay. Yeah. But they're not, they, <laughs> they're not trading the world for him. The, but that's the, you said the best. Yeah, you that's said the, the best. Yeah, that's the best situation for him. For sure. <clears throat> okay. Right, realistic. Best and realistic is what you asking? Yeah. Shoot. So what they say? I don't think he needs to go play with LeBron. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> not, they ain't giving yeah, up Dame. Yeah. Mm, okay. They're not giving up Dame. So he can't go there. They said uh, yeah. Jalen Brown. Yeah, he'd be, he could be decent on the Celtics too. For Jalen Brown and another work. player, that would be nice actually. They could work. That could work. Because Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, they ain't. Yeah, they, they both don't, good players, but they don't. The Celtics yeah, should they be don't better. Mess. They should be way better. They, should they be play the same team way. With with and team. y'all have all them picks. Everybody thought that y'all was going to be good. Y'all had all them picks y'all was hoarding. Y'all didn't trade for nobody. Y'all didn't do nothing. Now them picks didn't went to waste and turned into nobody's. Yeah. That's real. Your best bet is when you hoarding them picks, trade for a young star. As soon as he, soon as he disgruntled, I need him. Come on, come on. I mean, they tried to get Kyrie. They tried it. They tried, yeah. And, and then what? Y'all, y'all should have kept IT. Y'all <laughs> and y'all yeah. messed up y'all camaraderie. Yeah. Don't nobody leave me y'all like that. Y'all was cold for that. That's that's a good one. Y'all think IT should still be in the league? I think it's a, it's a place for him. No, 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 maybe. I mean, I do. I don't see how it's not. We got niggas who average three points. And like, <laughs> <laughs> but he five he five five. Like what are you who are you gonna do? Up? I mean, he can give a nigga thirty. Yeah, maybe. Like, you could be know. seven feet. You could be Brian. He could hit you with a. We don't know if he can give a nigga it. thirty. No, I've been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since he did that. I mean, yeah, it's been a while, granted, because he's got injuries and, and that type of shit going on. Yeah, so we don't know if he can give I just players. think it's a million players worse than him. Yeah, I mean, he, he wouldn't be the worst player in the league if he yeah, exactly. But I don't think the league got nothing out against him or nothing. It's just, nah, yeah, it's just not really a place for you. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, just, yeah that's real. Yeah, and that goes to show the game is just constantly mm-hmm. evolving. I tell me, me and Steph talk about uh, uh, Rizzo boy used to be for the uh, for Sack John Salmons. He was like one of the best two guards in the league, and then the league just like got hella fast yeah. out of nowhere, and it just wasn't a place for him no more. And he gave everybody buckets. John Salmons used to give everybody buckets, and the league just got hella fast and got too fast for him. Before you know it, Shaq and niggas like Shaq with that bill was you feel me considered. You probably don't want Shaq on your squad in today's in today's game. You only gonna you only gonna slow. I'm saying I'm his body type, not Shaq the man. Not Shaq the man. He's walking that me? bitch up. His body type, his build. Ain't nobody, I, I ain't nobody in this today's game gonna be. You probably don't want that on your team. Man enough to be able to be able to run. Can we cut and take a pick and roll and cut and follow his nigga around the floor like the league got so many pick and rolls now. They just be pick. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, they'll 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 put Shaq up. Like who? And 
just pick and roll well, you have to step when, when Steph Curry put Shaq in the pick and roll like yeah it'll be hard it's probably gonna Shaq be still be down like, like, yeah yeah you're gonna dominate that paint <laughs> but you know what the rules are like, but yeah this is a it's a different game it's now. a different it's game it just change is this, is, is he, I mean, there are generational. The game does slow down for once in a lifetime talents, right? So, like when the game was low key starting to pick up, and then along came LeBron James. Like the league had never seen a nigga who was six eight. Yo, I don't have to. I could be a sprinter or just a regular two way, but no, I could actually bring the ball up, slow it down. We could eat twenty four seconds up. All of that. Like he slowed the game down, and then you know Steph Curry came along, sped the game back up. Then we got Giannis. Slow the game a little bit down. Back in the post now, we're not shooting as many threes. We we can be kicking it back in and driving. Like you know what I'm saying. The game is constantly fluctuating. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, one, it is. More, one more question. Could Giannis? I mean, could Ben be a Giannis? Could Ben be a Giannis? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you think so. he can lead a team? Yeah, I think, yeah. So. I think he wants to. He he would like that yeah. opportunity to be the, the man on the team. I think in the playoffs one time when Joel. Missed a couple games. He he went up there and put like forty five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think who was on. He put it forty five on. Yeah, he missed like two or three shots. I think. So. I believe yeah, he was out there. He was out there just they talking. They did him dirty in Philly. I mean, yeah. I mean, he you gotta. He needs to be working on his game. There's no he, there's no excuse for not having a jump yeah, shot. But they did him dirty, bro. Yep. They did him dirty over there. I wouldn't want to play with them niggas no more neither, bro. Yeah, everybody try to say uh, he's soft and then it was like. Yo, coaching and the best player on the team talk coming yeah. out talking, talking about it's your fault basically while you look like yeah fuck them niggas then man I'm, they ask yeah. you if you think if, if they thought I was a championship point guard you said you wasn't sure yeah you wasn't you're not the coach for me bro yeah, you know. I went straight to the front office and be like hey one of us gotta go yeah, yeah. Facts. Facts. one of us gotta go this nigga don't believe in me y'all believe in me or y'all believe in him I always go what we doing game seven moment versus Toronto if you just watch that last play when Kawhi drives to the corner to shoot that three if you watch it Ben already has him He's already locking him up. And B literally cuts him off, bro, and <laughs> follows him to the corner. And when he makes the shot, Ben is just like, you can see it's like, I watched it all. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's the moment right there. Yeah, he said that's the best. Yeah, I like, that, too, that was it. I that like, too. That did, was it. did y'all see that pick of uh, Zion? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's he going to do? In the red jumpsuit? Yeah, in the red Santa Claus, man. <laughs> in the Santa Claus on, man. Bro. He on his James Harden too. <laughs> so many people said it was like, all right, he's going to New Orleans. They you know how to eat out there, bro. So many people said it when he got drafted. Yeah, that's a real thing, though. They do say, yeah, that, bro, eating, that food is different. He but is nah. done. He like, said he's done. I hear they changed like the whole diet plan, the chefs and dietitians and everything for for the, for the Pelicans. Damn. They fired all of them at like new meal prep, new food, everything, new nutritionists, everything for this nigga. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's... <laughs> He went over there. They said, nigga, what y'all was feeding him got him 60 pounds overweight. Man. Gracious, I mean, he look like he's getting bigger, though. Like, yeah, the new, that, the new, t- that nigga the like new diet. It don't look like he's working at yeah. all. That nigga, that's because the nigga, he, he think he's dying. I guess this was after he blew up, like after he got. That's because. I'm saying he still look like he's getting bigger. Uh, <laughs> 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 he like he think he can put a He think he can put a whole chicken on his salad. That's why. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can put a whole chicken on his salad. It's it's supposed to be more lettuce than meat in that salad, bro. Come on. Goodness gracious! That nigga look like he belonged. To, uh, he related to the clumps. For real, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, for real bro. Oh, like, there's no way this nigga a basketball player, bro. My boy is Zion clumps. Man. Yeah, escalate. I, mean, well, I, I think he's doing. I think he's. I think it's a ploy, though. I think he's doing this to get out of New Orleans. Like, I think he only. Think so? I think yeah. so. Where yeah. you wanna go? Where, where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? Where, anywhere. You just anywhere other than there, you know bro. That is. body, that body shape, ain't nobody trading for that. Which y'all want to say? Crazy. If they oh, show, if, is, if, he, is, is he a bus? Is he a bus right now? Or? Right now, right yeah. Now, this yeah. Moment. yeah. What do you play? Yeah. Twenty games or some shit last year? How many games does he play? He played half a season or something. Right? He came so out to get had that first game, game where he hit like a million shots, shots in a row or something like that. Niggas thought he was oh, should I have to shoot? Nah. He do. He do. Yeah, boy, yeah, like yeah. 20 and 10. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, he not does. 10 and 10, like 20 and 10. Like, we can't, he's not a bust. No way. He doesn't want to be here. I don't blame him. He's not going to be a bust. I don't blame him. You don't blame him. For being he, he, Nobody wants, look, we realize now, well, not even just us, but these athletes and people who are playing the sport who have a chance to actually impact the sport realize that we only really talk about the champions. Like, we don't. But they, he's a first year player. First like, player. You can't, you know, that doesn't yeah, mean he doesn't want to win out the gate. If, like, if you're good, but you don't think they should believe in themselves, like, 
No, yeah, for sure. I think, yeah, you should definitely earn they, that. That's they, something that's, have, that's earned. They have Brandon Ingram over there. He's an all-star, but right? We in the league now, we're a team. We're, play, we're watching players, you know, literally demand and get traded or, or you know, go I, to the team that I should go to the first and play yeah, with the superstars that I want to play game, with you don't know who, and take the shortcut. Be. Like, that's the day in the age that we in now. Like, and shit, Giannis just won a championship at home. Like, he stayed there. So, the, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the time was right. And like, if we're in the day and age where these players will go call in on shots and be like, I don't want to play here. Don't you think Nick would just stand on all 10 and be like, I don't want to play here instead of just being fat and overweight and, and, and doing it undercover? Do you don't think Nick would just st- stick his chest on and be like, you niggas suck, like trade me? Contracts and stuff like that, that's, that's involved where you know you can't just I mean, take but a niggas stance. Doing, niggas been you're doing you're not that. allowed to just take a stance. It's, you got endorsement deals player. and all that. Ben Simmons like, doing that right now. Yeah, like I was about to say, niggas been doing that. AD did it, right? Yeah. Like yeah, they doing did it. yeah, they set him off the whole second uh, half. James season. Harden did it. He doesn't have the same like he doesn't have the same pool as the, as those guys. That's what we. That's what I'm saying. He got to earn his cash, <laughs> yeah, bro. He got to earn it. He can't just like, come you out. Can't just come out first year. Right. You, not, you are never really doing. You ain't doing play no whole year. You not putting your work. Dude, no, I'm not that. saying I agree with what he's doing, but I think that's what he's doing. Like that's what he's doing. I think he's out of shape. Yeah, I think the nigga out of shape. He, he just got a body type that is easy to find and get fat. He's not motivated. He's not subconsciously eating his food. He knows what he's doing. He knows how much food he's eating. He knows how many times he's he doesn't game. work out. He like, can't he help it, yeah. He yeah, knows, bro. And then he, and if he is really injured, you can't work out and shit, and you got a body type where you it don't take nothing to you to gain weight, and that's what happened to him. Then yeah, but he's been clear from injury for a good three months now. And then that's right. your fault that you ain't back. He can't get back. He doesn't want to be there. Like if he wanted to be there, he would be in the lab working. He's not hurt. I don't. I think. He I, want to be I just there. think he. I just think the nigga got a uh, and one escalated body. If that nigga do <laughs> I agree. I agree. They just wanted them niggas uh, that. If that nigga's and, and, and he been an athlete his whole life, mm-hmm. with high metabolism, active practice games, AAU, all of that, college, all of that, his whole life. Yeah, and now he got to sit down, and he's still he probably still working out and still eating, but it's not as as much as it was. Yeah. And he just got one of them bodies that he hold weight. Whole way. Yeah, I can see that being the case too, though. I can see that being the case. But I'll just yeah, he wants to get out. That'd of be hard for me, but I think that nigga be a fool to play like that right now. Yeah, yeah. maybe he just saw him work for X amount of players. Bro. No, but you, but the other players stars. put in their work. But who who are who do, do the Pelicans have any type of leverage to be like? Well, oh, we'll just get somebody else. No, you don't. You guys are getting blessed by other teams. Well, like, if it, it, they, I wish they, they wish they could trade him probably, but his, his yeah, value is not as high. Yeah. Or they, yeah, what they got to give up would have been, been yeah. if he was actually playing. Check this bit last name when he get off basketball. Y'all liking the uh, the Timberwolves? No, no, they, no. They're balling lately, right? I'm, like, I'm liking the Timberwolves right now, bro. No. I don't think they're finna shake shit right now. They're not finna do nothing crazy right now, but I'm liking them, bro. Anthony Edwards is one of my favorite players. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I like his personality and shit. <laughs> and he balls. Hey, he balls. Nah, my favorite. You already, everybody know LeBron, Giannis, bro. But the, the young nigga, I like Lamelo, bro. Yeah. Me too. I Lamelo's like my him. favorite young player. Undeniable. He's yeah, he's my favorite Undeniable. young player right now. I'm like, and they, they gave him the Steph Curry effect. Like, nigga, go ahead. You can shoot from wherever you want I to. Think, I think he could be an MVP, bro. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. he could be an MVP one day, bro. For sure. I don't know. For sure. I think he could. And the, they, like but I, the coach and the, the ownership gave him the green light. It's your show, bro. Shoot from where you they want to. They made playoffs this care year. Where you. They would have made it last year if yeah. he didn't get hurt. No, he had right. the, When he got hurt, they was the number yeah. four seed, bro. Balling. Yeah, He's been hooping since he stepped on the floor. Yeah, he's been hooping since he came on the floor. He hasn't folded from the pressure. Man, Lonzo stepped his up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a, it was the effect. Like, he, like, okay, little bro. But we we knew Lonzo was going to develop into a yeah, solid player. That's true. Like, that's we true. knew that. A lot of people didn't, man. A lot of people were counting him out. Yeah, that's go, true. Does he go pants? I don't think he'd be a, a lockdown defender like Lonzo does. Uh-huh. No. He'll so never get that. Lonzo, I mean, Steph Lonzo, Lonzo can't score like him, though. Like, Lonzo right. can't he, score. He both of them, both of them are good, great passers, though. Like, they both can find yeah. an open man. It's, uh, but he never had a defense. Everybody, they both do a little bit. It just depends on what you need yeah. on your team. Yeah, exactly. LeVar Ball was right. Leave that nigga alone, man. Yeah, he was yeah, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, he was, he was he definitely, definitely right. right. Yeah, like, you can't even And lie. he told y'all years ago, my youngest, he going to be the best he one. He going to be the best one. We, we seen kind of seen that in high school. Hey, he's 92 and one. The high school game, I don't give a fuck. Everybody was like, he shot 100 shots. I don't give a fuck how many shots. If y'all let him shoot 100 shots. He made 92 worth of them, no, bro. <laughs> I be telling people, I be telling people all the time, bro. I could go, I can go play in a high school game right now, and I'm not, I probably won't get fifty. In a high school game right now, nigga, I think I, I think I can play. 
<laughs> I think I could play. And these niggas is kids. And I probably wouldn't get to 50. Yeah. And this nigga got 92 against his peers, bro. Man. That's hard to do. Man, that nigga's out there tree picking, man. I <laughs> don't <laughs> got no respect for it. Ryan said niggas up through cherry picking. Uh, they knew he was cherry picking. They knew he was cherry picking. They couldn't do nothing about it. Cherry picking. He, they he they couldn't do nothing about it. Some shit. Some shit. He was chucking. <laughs> they knew Randy Moss was running that nine route. They still couldn't stop that shit. They knew Randy Moss was going deep. They couldn't stop it. That nigga made them shots, bro. You gotta give him his credit. Give him his credit. Ninety two. I mean. I, I said 92, I don't care. He, I, seen, I watched the video. He was cherry picking. I, <laughs> I, I don't care what y'all talking about. I watched the highlight, bro. He was cherry picking. Uh, I, I know if I, if I drop 92, niggas ain't telling me nothing. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. If I drop 92, niggas ain't telling me nothing. Like, how many, what's your highest score, my nigga? <laughs> what's your highest score? I got 92. I almost hit 100. How many you got? I'm like Andrew Schultz when he beat Jesse Williams. I don't care if it was... Uh, to seven points and you gave me six when I scored my bucket. <laughs> it's, right? over. it's over. You it's lost. Over. So, <laughs> you lost. You knew what the stipulations was you just lost. like I did. Yeah. You <laughs> lost, nigga. You lost. You gave me six. That's, that's your problem. That's why I like Jay Will. He owned it. He just was like, yeah, he I was mean. Salty. He was yeah, salty. At first he was. At first he was. At first he was. He was salty at first. He did not. And, and Andrew hit him with the hezzy. <laughs> he hit him with the hezzy. Yeah, oh, like, oh, that's when you watch it in slow mo. He really caught him. That the shot was luck, but the move, <laughs> he really caught it with the move. Yeah. It's all right, man. You, you got good. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have told him you would give him six points and get a seven. That's your fault. Yeah. You made the stipulations. Use a loose. Mm-hmm. I never let him live that down. Especially if I'm someone who played college or pro ball with him. Like, you let a comedian beat you, nigga. You let a spot at that nigga. I don't care. That nigga, I spot that nigga six and ain't gonna beat me. If I'm a pro, if I'm a pro, that's what I'm saying. I spot that nigga six, but he won't beat me, nigga. Then he bouncing off his head or something. He's bouncing off his head. He's out there showing up. If he wouldn't have done that, he would have won. If he wouldn't have done that, he would have won. He lost. How niggas ever take an ill one and should have been a guaranteed win? Oh, hella embarrassed the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. man, I didn't lost to this. I should every time I play him in the 2K. I, <laughs> it should be a guarantee. <laughs> though. He beat me a couple times. He beat me a couple times. Man. 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 He said it should be a guarantee. He beat me a couple times. Keep the hard DV, PSN, and Xbox profile. He beat me a couple times, man. I ain't going to lie. A lot of times. Damn. Nah, yeah, but. um. Speaking of beating stuff, y'all see a Kyle Rittenhouse beat his case, man? How niggas feeling about that? I don't even know the specifics of the. Uh, I was listening to. Uh, what else? It's, it's not new, bro. Like, uh, who's shocked? Who's really shocked? I don't think so. I mean, people were shocked about it, but I think everybody can learn like the story of the ins and outs. Yeah, the ins and outs. I, I, I was told on with brilliant idiots. I think they was talking about it. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. And it was a lot of stuff they was talking about on there. I, well, I didn't. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. was po- I was pretty shocked when. Uh, well, no, I wasn't shocked. When I started throughout the gun charge and when I when I heard the, uh, the judge's ringtone, I was like, oh, this little nigga's getting off. But as I watched the case and got more information, I was like, oh, he was always going to get off. You know what I'm saying? Because it was self-defense. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when, we talked about it a little bit last night. But once he threw the gun charge out, once they threw the gun charge out, it was like, oh, no, nah, he getting off on this, bro. And I agree with him getting off. And I'll, I'll stand up and say that to anybody. I agree with the nigga getting off. Said, on man, technicality. He got off yeah, on technicality. technicality on the guy had a gun, you attacked him. Nothing that had a skateboard. You tried to whack me. If I was the guy, I would have shot him too. And I would have, hey, I would hope that I would have had the same shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. the chances are I wouldn't have the same luck, mm-hmm. but I would have shot the niggas too. So I would, hey, you. Yeah. Well, I can't, what, every action is a reaction. And that's what my mom was saying. My mom was like, I'm upset because there's no way a black kid could go out there with that gun and just do whatever he want like that. Yeah, my mom was like, that's what I'm upset about. I was like, nah, I feel that. I feel that. With an AK on his back, you, know, you won't make it down the street. Bro. Yeah, you're not going to be getting high fives from the, from the police talking about we happy you out here. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No matter what you say, your purpose is. Mm-hmm. That's not happening. Yeah, that's my reason. Is why, why was he... Able out, to walk around with why is he out there? Like, what, you, what was your plans on going with a... Mm-hmm. But uh, well, they said right. he was going out there to protect protect the uh, the, the the smart the, the businesses yeah, stand on the block and who, protect the who business is that, from the looting. Who is that? From, who are you? The, I, I mean, mean, and it's not even that, is, city. that yeah. is his God given right, right in an in American life that he's allowed. That's what they love. They love people citizens <laughs> who stand up and you know I want to protect. Them. They yeah. they love that shit. That's they why they got. Uh, like, so he he played into a pocket that was set up for him to fall into. 
You feel me? Like he took it. So when they situation. when they broke into the Capitol, I should have been out there with my with my also. No, he was trying died. to like, <laughs> protect the Capitol. Yeah, I'm just saying, but the people. But, but, but to, to your point, he had a guy given right. Like I, I love the United States. I'm gonna go hold the Capitol down. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> those people can. They can. They're he said white. those people. Can, <laughs> he said they, white people can. can. Your black ass can. You better not go outside. What we have to understand. Is we have to be able when it comes to fighting fire, you do literally have to match it with fire. Yeah. So if you're getting your head blown off in the streets, chances are you got to make an example out of the right person so they know they can't treat you like that. Like that's what well, we yeah, you need can, to deal with. That's what this, I feel like that is what this example is. This is a man who came out of his house who was dead fucking serious about the shit he was about to say, what he believed, his stance. He was ready to kill about that shit. Those people were not ready. They just wanted to get. I, I, feel like, I feel like they just wanted to get in his face and get in someone's face and scream and rebel. Not really passionate enough as he is. They were not ready to take a life like he was. Why are you charging a man with a gun on his back with a fucking skateboard, bro? Yeah. What are you? What do you think is going to happen to you? <laughs> he didn't think he was going to get his house. was going to get popped. He like, get that. What do you think is going to happen to you? He thought he was out there playing. He thought he thought Kyle was out there playing. Like, I'm still in the moment. <laughs> Now he's this the first the first person tried to hit him was to do with the skateboard. Now I'm downing him. Anybody else runs up, I'm gonna do the same thing. That's that's exactly what happened. Especially if you got a gun. That's exactly you got a gun. what happened. Both of y'all burnishing weapons, bro. Like I don't know what the Yeah, like everybody out here lawless, who's really down to die for that shit? And he wasn't. Like he was ready to kill for his. That's what it came down to. And he got off. Like let that be the lesson. That I don't feel like it was wrong. I mean, he was wrong for the whole situation. Why are you out there and shit? But him defend him what he did. That was just self defense and shit. Like no self defense, bro. Ain't nothing we could do about that. Yeah, on the te technicality, he, he was in his right. I, I need, I need uh, the other. I need it's some of these ones though that was like clear. Like and they were also <laughs> saying one of the people that he shot was like a, a sex offender or was a child molester or something mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. I did like, hear that. I did hear that. You know, I I definitely don't have sympathy for you. Like, <laughs> they gotta do some. We gotta do something about these gun laws, bro. I think that's the Facts. that's the that's the bigger Facts. issue, bro. It's too it's too easy to get one. Facts. I think everybody should it, it, go about it the right way and have one. So, don't get that twisted. But it's too it's too easy to get one. We know more people who have died from guns than people that we know who actually own a gun. Oh, facts. Like, like facts. that's that's kind of scary. Like. But the thing is, with the gun laws, is it's different. It's different everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it should be a universal. It gun should law. be a United States. This is the rules and stipulations yeah. to it. It can't be like in Texas. I think they just changed it to where I don't know if you have to be eighteen or twenty one, but you can just go get a gun. You can just go in there and go get it. You don't have to have a gun permit. If you got a Texas ID, you could go in the gun store and get your gun. Same day and everything. California, you can't get no gun same day, nigga. We're yeah. gonna run a 10 day background check and approve you. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they be saying, like with all the uh, little Chicago kids and stuff. They just be going like to Indiana real quick. Yeah, and, just going or, to yeah, and gonna get guns and come and coming back. Yeah, because mm. yeah, you don't gotta do shit but have an ID. You know what I, mean? I, I got my ID. Take a smoker. <laughs> yeah, you take right. a smoker from your neighborhood but that got an do, ID, do we, do take them really, right in there and give them some money. When we say we need gun laws and gun control, what what would be where would be the best place to start? Like how would we even address that situation? I think there should be some type of along with a background t along with a background check, I think there needs to be some type of like mental health check. Like if you got a history of mental illness, it's got to be crazy difficult for you to get a gun or maybe you shouldn't have one period it's too many it's too many people that's just just not stable that could easily get their hands how on would them. they be able to check if you have a, uh, a test. history of mental illness? everybody like if you, if you're on medication or if you got every everything you could look into all of that and i feel like if you feel like that's a violation of your rights i feel like you shouldn't have a gun i mean maybe that sounds crazy yeah, I but understand. if i if you go to apply for a gun and they like nah we need to look into your mental history and your medication and everything like oh what you mean like nah you can't have a gun bro we need to check on all that you see what's going on outside Every, like like the, the the school shooter in michigan ain't no way he should have had a gun the school talked to his parents and was like yo we see what he's searching on google what's what's going on parents is like nah everything's fine like we appreciate your concern but everything is fine and then he bring a gun that's going to kill all these people if they if, if, if there was much something you know what i'm saying like something like i'm talking about in place he would have never had his hands on a gun or his parents would have you know what i'm saying taken the situation more serious potentially and kept that gun at his hand and you know what i mean it just needs to be 
Was, um, it, was it his gun that he shot the people with? I believe it was his is his parents' gun, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I should have done my homework on that before I brought it up, but if I'm not mistaken, it was his parents' gun. Let me find out right now. I think it was his parents' gun. That's what I'm saying. He can't... How yeah. you gonna stop the parents from getting their guns? Touche. It's hard to stop that situation from happening. Because he could have just got the gun. No, really. Uncle. Everybody just gotta have a proper training. Like, that should be something that should come I'm with. I'm just saying. He, like, if, you, if you got a gun, I could just go get yours and, and go kill somebody or shoot somebody. Yeah. Like, the way our government thinks is is kind of backwards like you would think if you want your nation to be strong you would teach them things to, to build strong people like in this nation we don't focus on things like finance they don't teach us financial freedom while we're kids you, that's something that's a concept you can grasp as a kid yeah, I, I think they want us working man they like, don't, they don't you know they, they pitch us this mentality that we're supposed to work for somebody you're supposed to yeah. aspire to work 10 12 15 hours a day and spend the, the minimum amount of, amount of time as possible with your family and that's considered successful. Like, no, like we are now getting back to the point now where we starting to see what we really want. Like, and that's what this whole COVID and all this shit is really broadcasting. It's just setting a, shedding a light on situations like Kyle Rittenhouse. It's just setting a light on situations like, you know, um, oppression and you got people like Aaron Rodgers lying about getting the vaccination and receiving no penalty. And you got uh, Antonio Brown, who's currently on punishment right now. Like. Yeah, it's was just that a, the same thing? Was that like the same thing? I mean, you lying about you lying about having it. You lying about think, having a vaccine. Lied, I don't know if he lied about it. I'm saying he got the card saying he's vaccinated and he wasn't. Like, oh, he had a card. Yeah, he had the cards. I know? thought he just got up there and said he was a uh, immunized. immunized. Yeah. No, that's what he, he talking about. A B had the card. Yeah. No, I'm saying Aaron Antonio Rogers, Brown. Hey, I, I, it's a, different, right? Aaron Rodgers said he was immunized. And the, but his but his, his team knew he wasn't vaccinated, and, and yeah, and they just didn't say anything. They yeah. just didn't say nothing that he was. But he makes it a lie. Like they just knew. I mean, you didn't. The team could have be been penalized. Yeah, for it, but the team knew he wasn't vaccinated. The team didn't know AB wasn't vaccinated. He had a fake vaccination card saying that he was vaccinated. Saying he was vaccinated. And, a lie is a lie. And I feel like he's going. Yeah, I feel like they knew. They. I mean, right. how could you know? I don't feel like they knew, but I feel like they like, hey, if niggas get the cards, hey. Could they afford to suspend? I don't Aaron got, I don't have no. the. Could they afford? To I don't have the uh, numbers to really go look it up. I'm gonna have to call and do all this for the. If y'all got the cards with y'all name and they got the right shit on it, I'm just going, okay. And that's how a lot of places is playing it, bro. I went to the, uh, the the last week, two weekends ago, I went to the Clippers uh, Warriors game at Staples Center, bro. It's whack that they changed that to crypto, crypto.com arena. That shit is mad whack. But I went to a Clipper game at, uh, at Staples Center and I... They not checking the cards like that, bro. It's bro, it's a ticket person. They not like a medical professional or some type of authority to be really analyzing the shit. They l- looking at people vaccine cards as long as they see a name on there. They I letting you pass through. I went through, to bro. the Vikings first Chargers game. I just showed them like I just showed them my phone. And, mm-hmm. They not looking yeah. into it like that. They doing their job counting these tickets, man. They ain't scanning. They ain't scanning to make nah, sure. It ain't none of that going on. The niggas is really getting pinched up. Is that work? These are employees. We talking about employees. Yeah. That's how you getting punched. Like, that's real. you know, how, they, how y'all, they checking. How y'all feel about the mandatory? Like how people are trying to make it mandatory to get the vaccine? I think that's whack. Oh yeah, it is. Like that's I'm whack. somebody who was forced to get it. Like, it's still medicine it. at the end of the day, bro. Like I understand, like the uh, COVID nineteen is a big deal and all of that. But at the end of the day, this is medicine. And you should not force anybody to take any medicine they don't want to take, bro. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I think Especially my, when you have a history of lying about what's in your medicine. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to be mad at any, at any black person not not trusting the government or the, the, the medical field or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we got all the right not to trust them. Yeah. And, I, and I, I probably never will. It's medicine at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I just found out the other day uh, I'm supposed to be going on a cruise at the end of 2022 with like my whole, my dad's side of the family. I just found out I'm gonna probably have to get the vaccine, and I'm like, man, and I already put a hell of money down on the cruise and everything. I'm like, man, I might just bite the bullet and not go because I really don't want that vaccine, bro. Yeah. But it's like, do you want to really stop living? That's that was my whole mindset. I want to exactly. travel. I want to go places. Exactly. Like this is gonna be a requirement. Like it it is a requirement right now. Yeah, the, I bought a like, bought a first, uh, another six. My job is making it mandatory. Like you know, like yeah, he's saying you gotta go or get the vaccine. Over a hundred employees. Come January 6th, over 100 employees, you have to be vaccinated. They're not even going to do the thing where you got to get the test every other week? Nah, they saying oh, it's mandatory. You got to get the vaccine. Because mm. we work with the military, I guess, and the military won't. Mm. 
everybody yeah, like this, this the misinformation thing is is something that people got to really yeah see that's something crazy right I mean, that's like it's great like it's not a free country like they say it's a free country but he makes it's it really not money. like mm-hmm. and we fucked up get like, vaccinated we it's a fucked up step, bro. Yeah, that's, it's a dangerous step you know they made it seem like republican was this bad thing this whole time and, and everybody just fall everybody just going for it then make you think like what's next nigga what they gonna do next yeah man? Mandatory this, mandatory that. That's why I didn't like Stephen A and everybody else coming down on Kyrie like that, bro. I was talking to my brother. I was talking to Steph, but I'm like, bro, regardless of what you feel about the vaccine, what Kyrie is doing is what we would teach our kids to do, bro. And as a guy, he was a coach. I was like, isn't this what you would teach your kids to do? If you got a belief, stand up for what you believe in and don't waver in it, regardless of what people are saying about you. Isn't that what you would tell your kids to do, bro? So how can you be mad at Kyrie for doing this? Like, it's, yeah, it's like it's, put, it's putting KD and all them niggas in a weird position, but it's like, that's basketball at the end of the day, bro. This is my life and this is my family. And if I'm not comfortable with it, nigga, I'm not comfortable with it. Yeah. And that should be the end of it. <coughs> that should be it. Yeah, that should be it. It's not like that. And making yeah, it mandatory. Everybody got to say it. Mandatory. I don't mess with Stephen A, man. No, nah. he's a cool one. Nah, nah, I'm going on record and say it. I don't mess with Stephen A at all, bro. That should be weird. How he be uh, coming at people and shit. I don't know, man. I don't mess with Stephen A. Yeah, all you got to do and is... And I, I messed with Max, man. I, I fucked with Max and now yeah. he got Max kicked off. I'm like, bro, I ain't watching this show no more. All he does is burn bridges. Nobody wants to work with him. I ain't watched too much like that anyway. I was more of a shandy. One shandy guy was sleeping. I was like, okay. I, I'll watch this. But yeah, I, I, I still watch that every morning. And I, 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 I even watch First Thing First. Thing. I don't watch... I watch Fox now. Yeah. I watch Fox, I watch First Things First, all that. Yeah, if I'm looking for my Colin sports, Coward, man. yeah, when I go to sports, that's what I'm going to now. I'm not going to first take and um, the get up and all. I'm not watching that shit anymore. This is what I wanted to ask y'all. When we... How much work do you have to put in before you can be considered the best? Like, why are we so quick to label who the next best is? What, what, like, what are you so, for example, let's go back to basketball, right? We were off a championship. We got the shortest off season in a very long time. So, team didn't get a chance to get healthy. We played the most games the year before. Didn't get a chance to get healthy. Come back the next year, we're one of the most banged up teams in that following year. Mm-hmm. How do we start talking about Kevin Durant is better than LeBron James? Giannis is better than LeBron James. Any other player is better than this man at that point. I mean, what he's else fresh about? off a of chip. In what way are you better than him? And he's pushing forty. He know off a ship no more, right? I mean, yeah, technically now two seasons removed. But that's my point. Like, so can how long can you hold that down? Like, how much work do you have to put in to be considered the best? And how soon? Why is it being taken away from niggas so soon? It's, it's what, what Shannon Sharp always said, man. You just got to update your resume. Yeah, it's what, it's what have you done <laughs> you lately. Can't, yeah, you can't. You have to update your resume. Then that's all so, there is to it. And I feel like you would do that too. Like if we, if we, was all, if we went in the backyard and, and boxed every Saturday and I knocked you out right. a year ago. Right. And you've been out here knocking niggas out every weekend, but I ain't fought oh, you in a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, I'll be like, I ain't trying to hear that show. If you be like, nigga, I ain't seen you do shit in a year, bro. I'm out here knocking niggas out every weekend. We talking, LeBron James ain't a year nigga who was a, a successful a year, two, three years ago. Like he was yeah, successful man. yesterday, like today. You know what I mean? Like he hasn't fallen off. Like the games that he's playing, the games where he's active, he's not missing a beat. He's not doing nothing. He's, there's no signs of, of a slowing of slowing down. That's all I'm saying. So why they why they lose to the to Phoenix? Why they lose to Phoenix? There's a lot of reasons why we lost. Uh, Injury I, was the main one. I didn't seen Brian before. It wasn't because the whole he, team get injured. And it he wasn't still because people are smoked. out there outplaying him. I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen like LeBron. That's my thing. I've seen LeBron James. Before let's let's take it all the way back. Let's take it all the way back to before lockdown, when we played the Bucks. And we played the Clippers back to back. You gotta update your resume so you can't. I'm saying, no, but I'm saying though, no. I don't want to hear about it. It's all a part of his body of work. I don't want to hear about it. Yes, LeBron. Okay, if you want to get a championship, when we came back on, he picked it back up. And if you want to argue about LeBron being the best of all time, that's a different no, question. That's say, different what than what no, you're just saying. The, what I'm saying is, what are the what is the curriculum for taking away the best from a nigga? Because you have to update your resume. He's already been crowned the best. Because you have to update your resume. But can you outshine a man in one season? Yeah. That's why they say like yeah. LeBron's still the best player overall, but Steph is the best player right now. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. It's like, what are you doing right now? What have you? What did you just do? 
Last season, you lost in the first round. And right now, you ain't looking too good. Right now, I'm the best in the West, nigga. Talk to me. That's that, that, that's that's <laughs> If I'm Steph, that's what I'm saying. And I got rings, too. And I beat you head to head. So, what, like, what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that can go into who's the best right now and who's the best overall and how you want to play it. Because I know if I'm Steph, that's exactly what I'm saying. I've beat you head to head, and I'm better than you right now. So, what are we talking about? The totality of it all. <laughs> and if I'm LeBron, and if I'm LeBron, that's what I say. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it could, it, it, it however you want to slice it, however you want to slice it. I, I, I can see that. I can see that. I just think we just, as a society, I think we just we, we move too fast. With know, as right. far as you know, oh, this is well, this the best. Well, that's the best. Well, this the best. In sports, you have to update your resume, man. That's it. That's all. That's all it is. But it's like if you if you've dominated, if you've been at the top for so long, like you're allowed. To take a step back, especially if your step back is a lot of niggas ten steps forward. So, like, so if we playing Madden, if we playing Madden, and I, I stay beating on you, but the, the last three days you just been beating on me and Madden, you you gonna be like, that's my point. I'm that's asking my you, point. what you gonna James say. Javon James is a nigga who's been beating on niggas, and, and now, now his beat. last couple, now he had a, a bad year last year. I guess that's what y'all wanna call it, but it's really just injury. He just got hurt injuries. And now everybody's throwing these different labels. Who's better than him? This person's better than him. This person's better than him. He's not like, it doesn't work like that. So he played in the playoffs last year, right? Yeah. And they lost, right? Yeah. So you can't bring it up injuries. He played. If you're well, on that court. Injuries are the reason we lost. If you're on that court, you're, you're not injured. Injuries are the reason we lost. If you, if you didn't that, finish the series. AD he did. The LeBron series. did finish the no, series. I don't know, bro. I think that's flawed thinking. I think when they talk to people, when they talk to the players, and they ask who's the best player in the league. I think most of them are still going to say it's LeBron James. But when you talk, like a lot of people say KD. It, it, either one of them, but I, I from from what I've heard and the players that they've spoken to, a lot of these niggas still say it's LeBron. A lot of them. I think a lot of them still say LeBron over KD. If niggas want to say KD, I'm not mad at that. I'm talking about what I hear. So niggas, from what I hear, niggas still say it's LeBron, but it's got to be KD. Or I'm sorry, it's got to be Steph right now. No, like off of, off of what he's doing. Yeah, off what he's doing, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I guess so. I, I can't argue it, so it's like, yeah, I have to agree with it. Steph, Steph, got, Steph got every reason to talk that talk right now. Bro. I can't argue it. Every reason. And, and, and so do Giannis. I just think it's too soon. Like, it's, I don't think we're going to be singing the same tune in the summer. Like, I just don't. Like, when, it comes, when it comes to competition, you have to update your resume all the time, man. And this is a man who updates his resume year in and year out. His, uh, his latest resume like, update is... His, you just look at the people in his, in his age now. bracket alone. Just look at the people in his age bracket. That's, and, it's and not a, that's not about what sports is. It's How is you it on the same platform. It don't matter if you're 21 or if you... We can't take away from a person, though. We can't do that, bro. So we we having a different debate. Then. You want to talk about his all-time greatness. We can talk about I'm it. saying he's still the best player, period. Like, he still does everything better than everybody else. Nah. Like, he still does everything better than everybody else. Passing the ball, shooting the ball. So, they should have beat Phoenix then. Because back, back when LeBron was in his prime, they would beat Phoenix. He would have took that over. No matter if AD was hurt and who else was out. I don't know LeBron about that. He's never been here. in the West. Like, I don't know. <laughs> LeBron would have got them out of here. I don't know about that. He, he Even when Detroit was smashing every team in the West and, and the East, LeBron got them up out of there. Like... Yeah, and then he got beat on by Dwight in fucking Orlando. So, yeah. so you know, like, what are we talking about? But he still got out the first round. It wasn't the first round, was it? The East is the East. The it West the is a round, different right? beast. Like, that is a different beast. It wasn't the first round. To, it wasn't you know, the first round? Just, it's harder to dominate. Like, and he came over here, and he still, pretty, he still did a pretty good job. Like, he didn't dominate the way I thought he would, but. Man, the East is not that far behind the West, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. They are though. It's not. It's not how it used to be. Yeah, it ain't how it used to be. Like a landslide. I mean, what's okay? What's the good teams in the East? So what's the good, what's teams? the good teams in the East? The Bulls, the, the Nets, Bulls, the Heat, the, the Nets, Bucks, the Bucks, Bucks four. the Heat. I, I think if you look at the record, the East have a better record than the. We West. only have four teams. I think if you look at the records, they you, you like the Hornets. I like the Hornets, like but I don't, I don't like the Hornets more than I like the Jazz or the Nuggets. Like Atlanta? Like Atlanta? I think I like the Hornets more than I like the Jazz. I was about to say, I like the Hornets more than I like the Jazz. I think I like the Hornets more than I like the Jazz. I mean, that's cool, but the Jazz so, are the number and, one seed in the league. And the good teams in the West. The Jazz and have the best, the Jazz have the best record right, in the league. Right, so what's so, the, no, they don't. They did. Last year, okay, they had yeah, the best record in the league. So, what's the good teams in the West? 
The good teams in the West, we got the Jazz, you got the Nuggets. Nuggets not good. Nuggets are not that good. The Nuggets are definitely a good team. They went to the playoffs. No Jamal. What, 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 what's the right now, though? What, what, what are they We're doing? in the beginning right of the year. How are they playing right We're now? literally in the beginning of the year. We've watched teams. Yeah, what, when LeBron we named the teams on the East, we're talking about the teams that's at the top of the East at the beginning of the but year I'm saying, right now. If we're now. doing projectories, you, you, we got to be re- realistic about the projectories. Just because you're down right now, even if you're not, especially if you're over 500, like if you just because you're down right now, don't mean you're not about to pick it up later on. You might. Like, you, come have on to, now. you have to do it. You they're can't, gonna, they're can't gonna, give credit. You can't give good people credit for what you think they're gonna what do. What they might do, bro. Yeah, what you can't. What but I also can't just lock niggas in the playoffs for what they're doing in the first 20, 30 games. Yeah, that's not saying. If that, a nigga a top three C, you got to give him credit for being a top three C right <laughs> yeah, now, bro. <laughs> and you said who the top players in the East, and we named like the top four to five seeds. What? What? Where did? Where did? Where did Jazz and, and the Nuggets sitting at right now? I'm not sure. I have to look at. It. I have to look at this. Shit. That's what I'm saying. We we said the best teams in the West. He went to them niggas first. It's a big team. And with their complete team, but who's, they are, they they're are the not, best. That's, that's what I that is injuries my point. Is part of the game. They're not going to stay where they are right yeah, now. Injuries is part of the game. They're not going to stay where they are right now. Their best player is not hurt. Who? Jock. He's not hurt. So as long as their well, best they, player they is they not hurt. They're second and third, though. What team are you talking about? The Nuggets. I'm talking about the Nuggets. They second and third is hurt, though. Like the, yeah. if you put the Nuggets, like, let's, have, second a, and third best let's have a realistic conversation. Forget the record. Let's have a realistic conversation. Okay. Nuggets versus Hornets in a seven-game series. Who do you have? Well, right now? I'm right now, I got the Hornets. And why? Because they, got a all team. Team. Jai, they give up 120 points a game. They so got what? a better team. They give up 120 points a game. They don't give up 120 points a game. Something like 100 and something is close. <laughs> they give up a lot. They got a winning record. I'm not They're not one of the top two defensive teams like the Nuggets are. Was. I believe the Hornets got, is, is in the top five in the check. Yeah, in record, not in on defense. No way, Jose. They they got they got swept last year. They got swept last year, right? Who the Nuggets? Yeah, gentlemen sweep. No, I think it was a real sweep. <laughs> <laughs> Did they That's get swept? That's everything, man. <laughs> Did they get swept? I think so, man. Well, you got to show up to the stage to get swept. How many times like, these teams that y'all trying to count right now it ain't even stepped on that stage yet? Like this is this is it's easy to ball in this regular like, like come on now. This ain't been to the same like come on, Trey Young did it with his squad. He took his boy. That's what I'm trying to get. He took his. He took his, he took his boy. Like, it's, that's, that's the only nigga. It's tougher. That's it's only tougher. Nigga. It's tougher. Than he's, he's the only one. So. He's he the only one. Giannis did it. He's the only one, bro. The Bucks and the Hawks who got the better squad. To buy a long shot. Like, okay. Well, I'm, so, I'm just saying, Giannis did it, right? Trey Young is. He took his team to that stage, right? Not even six feet. Like, come on, bro. Jimmy Butler took his team to that stage before, right? Mm, I don't know. He, uh, he went to the finals, bro. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it, they, I, that was a situation where they elevated each other. Then playing around, they elevated each other. It wasn't just Jimmy night in, night out doing one thing well, they, or two things. Was Everybody on that squad was all. there before he got there. No, that's not true. There were nights where Jimmy had 10 points and Bam had 30. Yeah. Like the same thing they do now. Everybody on that squad. This, this is their identity. The way they play yeah, now. Yeah, Charlotte got a better team than all them, all them teams on the West. He was talking about, bro. Yeah, I, I figured I might think they're like a top five yeah, team in the, the East. Record. What's the who, What's the tenth seed in the East got? Thirteen and twelve. And what? Look at the tenth seed in the West. Eleven and fourteen. Uh, you see? Mm-hmm. They're a game you apart. Just what happened five seven they're a game ago. apart. No, he said eleven and fourteen. They're a game apart. And what you said? The tenth was in the East. Thirteen and twelve. They actually above five hundred, the the ten seed. It's like that's a seven game difference or six game difference like that. No, it's not. You uh, win two games, bro. Like, what are you talking about? And you're still not five hundred. Yes, you are. He said eleven and fourteen, bro. You win two games. That's thirteen. No, you said eleven and thirteen. Eleven and fourteen. Well, I thought you said thirteen. Yeah, it's still yeah. No, I thought you said thirteen. Either way. So I'm saying the East is not. <clears throat> Yeah, it ain't the same. No more, yeah, yeah, it ain't the same no more. They got KD over there. Yeah, look at, it's looking flip flop to be. Yeah, he said it's not the same no more, bro. Injuries are so you gotta look at everything, man. Like, and we said that shit. Injuries you look at, you look at the, top, the top five in the East: Brooklyn, Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, Miami, and Washington are all like real teams. Washington, you can't call them a real yeah. team. Like, but where does the pool four? of talent but lie? The seven, but the 76ers could be. They want to trade Ben Simmons away from right. some pieces. What like, I'm saying is the pool of talent, player. all the competitors are on the West. They're oh, not on KD, the East. James Harden, Jimmy Butler. 
Okay. And Kawhi, B, AD, Paul Kawhi, George, Kawhi, Russell Kawhi, Westbrook, Kawhi, Steph Curry. Don't say Russell Westbrook, bro. Yeah, he's not a competitor. Yes, he is. What are you talking about? You he's, not he's, not, he's not a winner. He's not a winner. He's, he's only saying that because I like Russell Westbrook. He's only saying <laughs> he that because he's with the that, Lakers, bro. He's, he's, he's not one of the niggas like that. What was he doing last year? What was he doing last year? We didn't. Nobody said his name. Nobody said James Harden. Bro, James Harden is way better than Russell Westbrook. And he's not even a championship contender like that. They're the same person. No, they're the same person. Nah. They're the same person. Nah. <laughs> not they're close, the bro. same person. James, James, Harden, James, Harden, Harden, James Harden was the best player on the team that was challenging the Warriors at the peak of their powers, bro. He was the best player on the team challenging them. Russell Westbrook ain't never done nothing as the best player on his team, bro. First round exits every year. Every year. He ain't never done nothing by himself. And I like, I like, I don't want to be that nigga talking about Russ like that because I like him. But we got to call him Spade a Spade, bro. He never done nothing by himself. James never. Harden never when did nothing by himself. When the last time he, he went further than Russ did. When the last time, when the last time, when the last time, when the last time Russell got This nigga Russ done played with Russell. PG and like. Who's Paul yeah. George? Don't nobody want that. Who's Paul George? He took, his, he took his team by himself to the Eastern Conference. Paul George? West, and the West is tough, right? Yes. Paul George took his team to the Western Conference Finals last year. By himself, without the best, without Kawhi. And how many like, when he was a little nigga was giving LeBron a run. Yeah, like, yeah. How many games like, did they win? You said what? How many games did they win? They made it to the Western Conference. How many games did they win? They lost in six. Uh, we, we got, I mean, you, you could do that, but we talking about where, like, how good the best player took their team when they was the best player on their team. Yeah, he came up short, and I'm gonna be the first nigga to diss the, uh, diss the Clippers as a Laker fan. But where Paul George took his team as a force of whatever Russell Westbrook has ever done, it ain't even close, bro. It's not even close. <laughs> he hasn't taken his team anywhere. He's not a champion. Like, he's what, taking what his, the point is about? he's taking his team much he's further than Westbrook Saturday, ever has. Can I ask you a question? When yeah, the last time? When the last time Russ been off the first round? You said when the last time? When was the last time Russell Westbrook was with KD? When he got his back. How many years ago? Nigga burned him, bro. How many years? And they had the best player in the league, bro. How many years ago was that, bro? When a nigga burned him. How many years is that ago? Let's see how far he goes this year. I'm asking you, how many years is that? Let's see how far he goes this year. How many years ago is that? Who's gonna get responsible? He's not. He's not even. This is, but he's not even the first or second best player on this team. That's what we're trying to tell you. Is gonna be when when we do it this year. I'm gonna say the same thing about Russ that I've said about Kyrie. The times you made it to the finals is with LeBron and Kevin Durant, the two best niggas of their generation. What have you done by yourself, my nigga? What is you're one of the top guards yourself? in the league and he you get to play with LeBron. He shit without KD. No, the fuck he did not. Yes, he did. <laughs> what shit did he want? He beat LeBron the first himself, time. No, no you said, by, you said by yourself. You said by yourself. That's without Clay. That's without the other nigga that was doing I never said by yourself. I said as the best player on your team. As the best player. Nobody does it alone. As the best player on your team. As the best nigga on your team, he's won rings. Unanimous MVP. Westbrook and MVP, all in, you know what I'm saying, triple doubles year. and stuff. He didn't win a ring that year. I'm talking about what he's done, at, again, what he's done he as the best player year. on his team, nigga. Right, so he didn't did he go done. back to back? Did he go back to back? Yeah, 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 he did. Not one of them years? No, no, he, he's talking about when he was unanimous. He no, I'm just saying. He, he, yeah, he, he, he went, went back to back. My nigga split hairs over there, man. He split hairs over there, man. He did not. He went back to back with Kevin Durant. He was back to back MVPs? MVPs. He's talking about MVPs, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Back to back MVPs. MVP, Kevin Durant was not on We're not talking about you. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not what we said. That's not what we said. That's what we said. When KD was there, KD His was the best player. His back to backs was with Kevin Durant. My point is, he's never done the it back to back himself. MVPs is we, what we're talking nobody, about. Bro. Nobody ever done it by himself, bro. You sure? Who? LeBron James, nigga. When? The Cavaliers, the Cleveland Cavaliers. He won by himself? What are you talking about? You like Kyrie Irving? Kyrie did not average. 50, 20, 50, 10, and 10. I'm sorry. You said what? I'm sorry. Ky yes, Kyrie hit a shot. He did not average 50, 10. He had the most points out of everybody. LeBron don't say he just hit a shot. Don't do that. He was I'm putting not, up 40. But they were both putting up 45 together, bro. You're, you're, you're not, you can't, he was putting up 40. He was putting up 40. He won that shit. So of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not yeah. saying that, bro. Kyrie didn't go to the playoffs by himself. So and we're exactly, that's, that's what, what I just said. That's what I just said. Is, bro. We can't sit up here and say Kyrie's the reason he helped like Brian needed him. No. It wasn't by himself. He that's what we're saying, James. bro. We're saying he wasn't by himself. He needed and LeBron that goes James. to my point again, bro. Like if if Russell Westbrook doesn't win a championship and he played with Kevin Durant and LeBron James, when Kyrie played with LeBron James, he won a ring. When he got with KD this time, they was like, oh, the Nets go win it for sure. When Westbrook get with them niggas, it's still a question, bro. It's not a question. Right, it is bro. not it's a question. It's looking like a question right we now. I'm a Laker are, fan. I don't want to sound like this nigga. Like but it is a question fine. right now, bro. We are doing fine. I hope so. Like, I don't know. It ain't saying, fine right now. I hope it do turn out fine. What are his numbers supposed to look like? That's the question. What are his numbers supposed to look like night in, night out? What is he supposed to score to be considered good or decent? 
to where it's not his fault that niggas is losing. To, to me, it's like it's like what what Rod said yesterday. It's not about Westbrook numbers. You gotta watch this nigga. I do. You gotta, and it don't look good, bro. It does. No, y'all no, no. y'all holding no, no. on the moments. Some, he no, has no. some games. Y'all holding on the moments. Y'all holding on the moments. He does not go out there and he's just a low IQ basketball. You're not. I'm not gonna do that. Like, what are you talking about? In the clutch, about? he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Bro, you, I, you didn't I, see I when he gave up that back door. You remember they lost? I forgot when we they beat lost the Heat, him. when we beat the Heat without LeBron James, that was because of the Russell Westbrook, not because of AD. That was the best team we have beat. Till today's day, that's the best team we beat, and that was because of him. So I don't know that's what fair. I don't know what y'all talking about. That's bro. fair. That's one game though, bro. Yeah, that's the most important so, game. Yeah, when y'all lost yeah. to the Thunder, who, who follows up? That was his fault. That was his fault. <laughs> I'm speaking on what I know of the history to be. What I see, what, what I see, what the history that I that I've watched over years of watching Westbrook. Not one game what he did against the Heat, bro. This nigga, Westbrook has hit a game winner in the niggas in the niggas seasons before. I don't mean he clutch. Because <laughs> you hit a one shot at the buzzer, don't make you clutch. What's your history? What you got a habit of doing? Russell is who you was are. balling with them boys in Washington last year, bro. They was good with him on the team, not without him. Who? Russell Westbrook. They, t- the they still good yes. now, right? The Wizards. They, 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 no, they'll touch, bro. Come on now. It's, uh, he was the best player on the team. Too, to me, yes. And what they do? To me, he was they the best player. And what they do? They didn't do much. That's what I'm saying. It was the HC. In the East, when you said it was trash, the East is trash, according to you. That was AC and true. lost in the first round. It is what does that tell you about Russell Westbrook? It's not his time. That's why he's <laughs> <saying. laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't his time. Yeah. Like, that's, I'm keeping it in the book. I'm not going to. You be can't sit here and be like, it's because he's trash and he loses. But then you sit here and give praise to a nigga like James Harden who just switches teammates. Uh, I, don't, I, I never heard person. nobody here give James Harden. How many teams have been on in the last three years? How many teams have James Harden been on in the last couple years? Two. Two. Thunder. I'm a fucking. Russell Westbrook could have been on two teams. The fucking Wizards and the Thunder. What are we talking and about? And now the Lakers. And the Rockets. What are we talking and rock, about? And the Rockets. <laughs> and the Rockets. Don't forget like, about what are we that. talking about? And the Rockets. He just started. He's been, on, he been on his squad longer than any of the niggas that you're even talking about right now. So what are you saying? Who? Russell Westbrook. No, James Harden. He put the most the years on his team than any nigga you're talking about. So we got, we're not going to sit up here and talk He's about... He's been a team hopper the last few years, years, bro. Come on, bro. He had plenty of players turning back on niggas. I think he been uh, last few years. I was about to say, he's been around like four years, <laughs> four teams in three <laughs> years, bro. Four teams in four years or something like that. What a majority of his career is on the Oklahoma City Thunder. What are y'all talking about? What does that mean? What, what does that mean? What, what I'm saying, what are y'all talking about? He's put the most team. He's put the most years in on one but, team. But you bringing up the, up to say what? What y'all saying right now is y'all judging this man off of what he's doing right now. But the nigga is averaging a triple double. Like how are you gonna take away and it's say not about he's stats, trash? Right? Not, so it's not about stats. You no, know. we started it off saying you gotta watch Russell Westbrook James to really Ryan, judge him, bro. How many ships? Right now? How many ships? Yeah. None. Yeah, okay, yeah. Kevin Durant since he left Golden State, how many ships he got right now? Play one seat. It's only How many does he have since he left Golden State? No, bro. No, bro. I'm asking a question. Since he took matters into man, his, right? his own hands and he became his own man, how many shifts does he have? No, no. Okay, zero. Okay, so shit not working out for him. Yeah, Dame, how many shifts does he have? Right? He played one year. He played literally played one year since he moved on. Paul George, how many shifts does he have? No. What do, what is, what is These are niggas that he played with. These are niggas that he played with. I'm asking how many shifts do these. What are they doing that he's not doing? got two shifts, though. Bro, he, he went to somewhere him. else. He doesn't have ships nowhere else. But Everybody, with, but in Golden State. if Paul George won a ship, you're going to say the same thing about him. Oh, he went somewhere else because he did. If Paul James George, Harden won a ship, you're going to say he went somewhere else. Like, no, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing because Paul George is not Kevin Durant, nigga. I'm just like, saying. What are you talking you about? Saying, you saying. Kevin Durant was considered. Y'all consider him to be the best player or if not one of the best players in the league, right? Paul George is not the best player or the second best I'm player. I'm just saying. You, you saying what have Paul George done? But if he won a ship. Didn't he go somewhere else to win the ship, just like Kevin Durant did? Kevin Durant joined the best team in the league to win a championship. Yeah, the a best fact. team in the league. That's a fact. That's, that's my fact. point. He has not won nothing without it, so we can't knock a nigga like Russell Westbrook who decided to run his accolades I, up by yeah, himself. To me, I think you league. could just at least get out the first round, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> At it's least just, get out the first it, round. It, it takes more than that, bro. You can't just. It's not up to one. Because I'm. You can play your heart out. It's, it's politics that go into this. It's all type of shit bro. that go into this. You know this, bro. Like. You can you just balling your ass up. That's a that's why I fuck with Russell. He's in the embodiment of just going out there and yeah, playing he basketball. So hard. Nobody said nobody like said playing he basketball. Hard. He let his game do the talking. So I don't see how people watch his game and say he's trash. Bro. It doesn't make sense. They look at his numbers and say he's trash because he doesn't have a ring. So now when he gets nobody a ring, saying, he automatically nobody, has to go to the top. Nobody brought up automatically. Did y'all bring, did y'all and I don't think we said he's trash. I just I just think the point is he doesn't play championship basketball. I think that's the point. I don't. I like Russ, bro. I don't think he's trash. He's but you gotta learn players. that. How many people know how to play championship 
Kevin Durant wasn't playing championship basketball until he became part of a championship organization. Nah, he was always he playing championship the, basketball. No, he wasn't. He never won shit. How is he playing championship he basketball? He never won a ship. ship. He took his team to No, he didn't. They did the same thing that year, bro. They lost to lost, lost LeBron. I'm saying their numbers were around the same. Russell Westbrook and, and Kevin Durant numbers, numbers were around bro. the same. No. They did. How he was it not around? Well, so what? How do you? What is your contribution? What is it measured with? Numbers. Like, what are you talking about? His contribution to the team was what we talking about, bro. He was not no bum ass nigga on the fucking Thunder. So Caruso, it's niggas. It's, I, let me name a bunch of niggas that's better than Caruso. He was the nigga that was aggressive when Kevin Durant wasn't. Aggressive. I'm just saying. So it's like, like you, I like, can't knock you like Alex, for that. Do you like Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso? Yeah, I like. I fuck with both of them. You, is Lou Dort better than Alex Caruso? No. Look at the numbers. No. Look up the numbers. No. Look up Lou Dort. Look up Lou Dort numbers and Alex no. Caruso. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you. No. Like you know, you said everything is numbers, right? No, I'm not. You are. I'm numbers. not saying everything is numbers. <laughs> I'm not. You literally did this on camera, I'm bro. I'm saying his numbers are. You are, literally just said that, bro. Uh, what you I'm literally telling you, no, I'm not. What I'm saying is he ran up his personal accolades by himself, his own individual achievements. He did not fall off. His game did not fall off. In no way, shape, or form. This man came off a torn ACL. Russell Westbrook. He He's played above expectations year in and year out, year in and year out, year in and year out. For you, not for me. What do you expect from him? To get off the first round. What well, niggas think of that uh, Trace Davis fight last shit. night, man? Oh, man. I niggas feeling about the fight oh, last man. night. You know? He, he wasn't impressive to me. Javante wasn't impressive to me, but. I don't think so either. It was a debatable one. Yeah, he wasn't. If they would have gave it to the other guy, I would have. Yeah, I, I was just I about argue. to say that. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I wouldn't argue. Yeah, I wouldn't have either. And it's the second one where he ain't looked impressive. Mm -hmm. Back to back. I. I, I expect him to really come out and dominate. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, not dominate, but like look more like he had a possibility to dominate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I'm making sense, but no, yeah, I, I, I wanted him to look more impressive than that, bro. Like, yeah. I just feel like, you know, we get caught up in just thinking niggas gonna steamroll. Like, the dude he went against was not a bum. No, he like, wasn't. I was more so impressed at his adversity, as, 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 as his will to battle through adversity. He literally hurt his hand. I caught it. I seen it. Like, I seen the punch when he hurt his. I'm like, oh shit, he hurt. He hurt his hand, battled it out. Like, that type of shit is impressive. You're fighting a power puncher. You're literally fighting this man with one hand. So, you, like, that takes, that goes back to what I was saying before the fight started. He's more than just a power puncher. This man yeah, knows defense. Is. Like, he has his footwork. defense is not, it's not yeah, that. No, I, 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 didn't I didn't say it's impeccable. I didn't say it's impeccable. It's not, I didn't say that. It's not a regret. But it's, it's, it's elite. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's definitely elite, elite bro. It's I fully I more. fully felt chill last night when he was like, oh, this is a nigga everybody been telling me about. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fully felt the heard, that. If you heard niggas how they talk about this, like, yeah, we was watching the Debbie fight on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And it, he was like, getting, he got punched. He dominated the fight way more than mm -hmm. Javante did, but he was getting, he got touched up a couple times and they were just, see, this was, I'm, and I was telling them, like, Tank is not, He's a, a good fighter, but he's not who y'all trying to talk him up to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's not. He's not who y'all. Like he's the second coming to Floyd. Yeah, That's yeah, how niggas talk about. Only not. two men have walked out of that ring on their own accord. Mm -hmm. Only two. And what's and, and what's some elite fighters have you fought? Only two niggas. I'm, 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 he's moving up in his weight like elite. That it depends, bro. What do you what do you consider elite? Like, is it we talking a record? How many belts you hold? Where where you been fighting? Who you, like, what do we consider an elite? Because in, in his in his division. Is it elite? Fought none of the top is fighters. it elite to move up a weight class and knock the niggas smooth out? Is that elite? It depends who you. Who you I know. I'm out. just asking. As a, just a per, it, just if it you depends. start off, I would say so. I would say so. That's elite. It depends who you. That's knock elite. Out. That's elite status, bro. Everybody can't do that. It don't matter who you try to knock out. You can go take on a bum. It don't matter. You're not gonna. You're not gonna have to. It's not easy. It's not an easy it's not thing easy. to do. It's not easy. Like we gotta. Only two niggas walked out that ring, bro. That's why niggas talk about Javante like that. Nigga, you're going to the high. It's a I, I know chance. boxing. I know boxing. It's I know, 98 I know. chance you're going to bed. So I, yes, I you know. might touch him three or four times. His eye has never been lumped. He's never really nah, been cut. I, I like what's the name? Lumped him up. Nobody uh, lumped. He, nobody lumped him, bro. He had a, bro, a bloody nose. That was it, bro. <laughs> I think the Gamboa was like... Yeah, that was the Gamboa. No, it was a Gamboa fight. Or that was the most he got touched, and he put him down. So it's like... <clears throat> he he's one of those people who fights better the matter he gets. The more you hit him, the better he fights. Like and that's no, what we no, saw no. in that fight. That's not a good thing. The Mexican, if you if you really yeah. pay attention to the fight and, and not just reaction, like not just react to <laughs> his <laughs> mannerism, but he slowed the nigga down as the fight was free. Like he was slowing the Mexican down. Yeah. Like and that's that's ring control, bro. Like you got to give him his fight. Bro. Yeah, he has to start fighting more of the better top fighters. Yeah, I mean that goes. That's the match matrix. That's now, the what match you matrix. said about him winning and was like to beat. You got to go in there and beat the champ. I agree with that. Yeah. So Javante deserves. 
I mean, how he's undefeated, but he's, he's not the champ. I mean, not the champ. Yeah, I mean, you like, know what you for, mean. For his for his reputation, yeah. you gotta go in there and beat you that. You gotta beat him. And you and he didn't clearly do that. So I agree with that. But I do feel like at the same time, like what he did, it, it wasn't impressive like that. Like yeah, I can no, I get, I get it. It wasn't <laughs> impressive. Like it was ugly. But to me, watching like boxing all my life type shit, like that, I like those type of fights. Like because it's easy to just be like, oh yeah, this dude is the best because we just watched him slip this punch and slip that punch and then knock this nigga smooth out. Yeah, but how many times have you seen a nigga face adversity? Like. That type of shit is what makes champions. Man, I don't be one to like, see these talk. niggas running around the ring, pity papping each other. Not to say they did that, but then you gotta watch niggas make fight. fights that like do, you gotta watch that heavyweight that, fight. Bro. I'm the mm-hmm. one to do that. Like niggas don't get knocked out in the featherweight. Well, they don't gotta like, get knocked out. Like, but they just gotta. It's just the fight. difference, man. When you watch an elite fighter, you watch Terence Crawford, you just see an elite fighter. You watch Devontae Davis, but he gets touched too. And he's elite bleeds at the end of his fights. He's bleeding. You don't. You don't so see what are we talking about, bro? You don't see it. At least just watch the fight. He gets touched too. Watch the fights. Um, he gets touched. If you watch Terrence Crawford fight, you see. And, and Tank is not a nigga you want to touch to you. That's my like. That's not a nigga you want to touch you. Bro, that's uh, no, all right. Period. <laughs> like that's I'm not even. That's not even my opinion. That's a fact. You don't want that nigga to hit you, bro. So, You're going to bed. Shit, old boy was walking yeah, through. Yeah, old boy was walking him down. The guy, because he, he hurt, his, he hurt his hand. He wasn't walking that shit down. You've seen him plenty of times in the fight. He stopped the nigga dead in his fucking tracks. Like, what are you talking about? So he wasn't coming forward most of the fight? No. Yeah, he uh, No, he wasn't. He stopped coming forward after after he hurt his hand. Nigga, fourth round, the fourth round, he was coming forward. We, we talk about him. From the fourth through the sixth. Cruz. Listen to me. Fourth through the sixth, Gervonta was taking control of the fight. The sixth round is when he hurt his hand. We're not talking about Javante coming forward. We're talking about Cruz. That's what I'm saying. Cruz was going forward from round one to round four. That's it. So he stopped going forward when he heard his hand. It was ring. Yeah, he was fighting on the back foot. So he started fighting on the back foot. That's exactly what I'm telling you. Watch the fight, bro. Javante's in the middle of the ring. The announcers are saying that he's staying in the middle of the ring. Uh Or like, what are y'all watching? His back was not against the ropes. Like, what fight was y'all watching? He was in the middle of the ring. So he was backing the Mexican dude up? Spinning him. Turning him. Turning him. You know what I'm saying? He's backing against the ropes. Going turning to work, him, going boxing, to work on the ropes. boxing, boxing, turning that man. It like, was a close fight, man. He turning him, bro. Didn't look it wasn't impressive. Yeah, that's this. Uh, like this is this get this is like it, wasn't it reminds impressive. me of Floyd fights. It reminds me of Floyd. Nah, it nah, reminds me nothing. It reminds me of Floyd. Fights. It, 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 it didn't remind me nothing. Like I've heard plenty of fights where they said Floyd didn't didn't win, and I, like, what are you talking about? There's been plenty. I never of felt like that. Me. I never felt like that after. And Floyd's the right. goat, so it's, 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 it's not it's probably not even a good idea to compare. But I never felt like that after a Floyd fight. Even after the Pacquiao fight, when it was like, man, that shit was boring. I didn't feel like it was boring. That looked like beautiful boxing to watch. The majority, but the majority felt like it was boring. Even if you guys didn't feel like it, the majority consensus yeah, I'm, I'm was just speaking it was a boring myself. fight. I'm just speaking on myself, man. That was the majority consensus. What I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking Shit. about. It's the same yeah, like man. energy, like the same like. You feel me? I feel it. Like you know, the y'all. We want to see. I guess my point in bringing that up is Floyd still looked impressive against Pacquiao. Davis didn't look impressive to me last night. He didn't. He did. No point to the fight was all like. He didn't at all. No point. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> it was not. Was I like super impressed? Nothing. Not, nothing that really impressed me like that. No. What was supposed to impress you? What was he supposed to do? Some, some move his box, bro. He was supposed to knock him out, smooth out, no, first round. No, no Floyd don't knock niggas out, and he was always impressive. Like, what, what, I guess what I'm saying that about, like, what, what would impress me about Floyd is, like, he'll be in there, niggas might tag him a couple of times, and he go crack that code and figure it out. That defense go really start coming out. He gonna stand in the middle of the ring and wear a nigga out. He yeah. gonna really show you how, how dope of a boxer he is. Javante yeah. didn't not one time last night show me how dope of a boxer he was. I didn't feel like that. Because he's a brawler. I never like felt he like he can that. box. He's a brawler who can <clears throat> box. A little bit. Like he's not some. He's not a boxer. He's not somebody who comes out and tries to score punches. Like he's somebody who's trying to hit you and mm-hmm. set you up for the knockout. Okay. Like you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I think we have so, to judge him differently. Like when it comes to defense yeah, and things like that. Like he's not going to be super defensively technically sound. It's the same thing when I was watching because when he I, had, when I watched Deontay Wilder fight, I'm like, part of it's not super imp- to me. Like before, he's not super. Imp- he's I know he's a brawler and all that, but Javante wasn't always. Not, yeah, Javante Wilder. He wasn't always super impressive to me. I'm like, I'm like yeah, if he if he fight an elite fighter, he's gonna get he, he gonna get knocked out. Yeah, and I know it. That's what happened. Just because the way he fight, like it's too much. Javante got potential, but he gotta get he has to get better. Like using his jab, defense, ring IQ, he gotta get better. When he start fighting these elite fighters, it has to have to get better. Like point blank period. 
I agree with that. Oh shit, since we're talking about fighting, how y'all feel about people talking tough about people that they can't beat? <laughs> oh man. Cause I, feel, I, I remember, bro, oh, and granted, man. maybe this might be immature thinking, bro. I'm, I'm 33. <laughs> I, rem I, remember, I remember being in, in school, in all, all grades of school, elementary through high school. If it, it, if it was somebody you wasn't cool with or that you couldn't whoop, even if you was going to speak your mind about them, you had to choose your words. Mm -hmm. You had to choose. Not that you were scared, but it was like... Smart. I'm a, I, I, I'm not scared to fight this nigga, but I'm pretty sure I can't whoop him. So I'm going to say what I need to say, but I'm going to choose my words. You know what I'm saying? And then with some other niggas that I was like, you don't even get to talk because you can't beat up nobody. Yeah. So yeah. you just got to be yeah. quiet. You just shut up. Now everybody gets to talk. Everybody get to say whatever they want about anybody because this is everybody get a platform now and we got Instagram and everybody got a timeline to get their opinion off. And I feel like yeah, you should you should have a space to get your opinion off, but I feel like you should still have to watch your mouth about niggas oh, that yeah, you can't work. Sure. You know but if you're willing to catch a fan, you can say whatever. Yeah, you say want. what you want to yeah, say. That's you know, the thing. Problem. So, like that's me. Like I'm gonna say whatever the fuck because I'm ready to deal with the consequences that come after. That's like, fair. You feel me? I'm not saying I'm just walking around my chest out all the time, but yeah, I, I'm gonna say whatever I gotta say and whatever tone I gotta say with. And if we want to take it somewhere further, that's where it's going to be. But a lot of people aren't ready to take it the next step. And that's what goes back to what you like. Niggas do definitely need to watch their tone. Like, that's why, like, you know, we got homies who joke around and call each other bitches and shit. Like, that shit, to me, is not cool. Like, yeah. you know, some niggas cool with that. Like, I, I get it. But, mm -hmm. you know, for me personally, because this is like, how how is that a joke, bro? Like, you calling me a bitch. Like, <laughs> bitch has been disrespectful from... You know, my dad, the way he was raised, and, you know, my uncles and shit like that. Like, that shit was never cool with them, so mm -hmm. it would never be cool with a nigga like me. Like, I'm not going to lie. And I thought about that. I thought about people like academics, but I ain't going to lie. Being over here with y'all and, like, doing doing more. Now, I don't want to say homework, but getting more information about him and everything he's done and how he been how he been rocking. I don't really feel that way so much about him. I, I do, but I don't. It's kind of, it used to it used to be like way on the side of like nigga you not finna do nothing so just shut up. And I do still feel that way, but not not as much as I did before. Mm -hmm. Not as much as I did before. I ain't gonna lie. After watching one million dollars worth of game, I was like I, I agree with a lot of the stuff he was saying. Yeah, well, I do. I do. Yeah, he's starting to show his true colors now. Yeah, I feel like they be coming for him. niggas come for him and then play victory. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's what it they looks think like he's now. super soft and he is. Yeah, right? you can say anything he's to easy, him. He's easy target. Yeah. So, and then they like, see, like, I don't know. I got this. And then when he tell you, like, come, come do it. Nigga, you gotta, and, if you talking all that tough stuff, that's how you talking about like, what you. What can't. you gonna do to me? Yeah, like. And that's what I told Mike. I'm like, you, everybody got to remember that his best friend that he hung around was Takashi. That nigga that walked around for years telling y'all nigga do something. Mm -hmm. Or his chest out. And y'all didn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Why would I Why would I ever, if I hung out with a nigga that, that I know he ain't cut like that, and he was telling y'all to do something, and y'all didn't do nothing, why wouldn't I do the same thing? Exactly. But it's, that's different, too, because Takashi is, I think he's more harder to touch than... I, I'm saying yeah, back then, mm -hmm. you was running into, when Takashi was out, you was running into street niggas, not security. Oh, yeah, you talking about when he was with the street niggas. Yeah, you was running into street niggas. I guarantee you, they probably would have pumped with you, but if you if you had a little, where, where, if you was somebody in your city, they couldn't come to your city and beat the shit out of you? No. Not at all. Nigga, if y'all want to leave up out of here alive, y'all going to let me, y'all going to run, somebody hit, Takashi don't got to run the fade, but somebody got to run the fade. And if y'all real all street, now everybody, somebody was gonna do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody yeah. would have did it. Yeah. yeah but I'm like, you, you let. I'm like, but he hung out with Takashi. Why wouldn't he? He nigga, do it. I'm gonna send you niggas my address and there. Do it. Pull up, y'all. Yeah. Because yeah. like, like to me, I think Freddie Freddie Gibbs took that L in that situation. Yeah, me too. Gonna, I agree. You gonna come out and tell you? I know where you was at. I could have. And did, I could have did this. Like, I, like you's a clown. Did, you's a, I could have did this. And then now academics like, nigga, come do it. Yeah. Then. Oh, you got it now. You got to do it. Now you was talking all these. Yeah. Now you got to do it. Now you got to do it. You can't just be running your mouth. That's real. Yeah. You, you, you have to go do it now. And that's why you need to leave that nigga act alone. Yeah. That's yeah exactly. <laughs> leave him alone, bro. That's why you need to leave that nigga act alone. He ain't got no problem getting niggas in for him pulling nigga car. Yeah. <laughs> you got no problem doing that, bro. 
At He's all. like, I never said I was tough. You can say what you want about me, but you niggas act like you're hey, tough. Yeah. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show the world you're not tough. You niggas bro. not tough. Yeah. And y'all do everything on the internet, so it's nothing for me to do but mm. sit back and take notes. Mm -hmm. like, Freddie Gibbs should have put up on him. You talking about he should have? Put up on him then. Yeah. And then you, not only did you say you, I could have put, you said you could have killed that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> and what does that tell you that these niggas are, are shook about a, a radio personality? Like, he ain't even a radio person. He, he started off as a blogger or something. Like, internet. Like, clearly, he must have the real scoop. Like, I know you niggas real lies. Yeah, he, like, he exposed Freddie. You see that? Exposed you, Freddie. You, like, he exposed Freddie. I don't know. 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 I don't his brother's a lawyer. His yeah. brother's a doctor. And somebody a lawyer was it? And somebody, <laughs> somebody, a DA, a DA yeah, or something. His, his, somebody is somebody else in his family a DA. But he swear he from vice he lords. Say, he, yeah, he from vice lords, and he a thug. Yeah, he a thug. He said, and all the niggas that's in Gary that he, uh, every, the hoods in Gary, Indiana, where he claimed was like they don't fuck with it. Believe that nigga hack him on. Mm. And <laughs> actually, he stalled him out because all the all the hood niggas in Indiana been. DMing him and doing the sending him all type of shit. He was like, bro, and he just was just like, I ain't gonna put that all that out there. Like, it is That's what it crazy, is, bro. Yeah. But that mean I got more shit. If I really, if you really, if you want some more smoke, mm -hmm. I got some more shit. If you mm -hmm. want it, mm -hmm. even I don't know, I don't know Freddie Gibbs like that. I don't, I'm not too hyped to his music, but even like on a Joe Budden show when they when they call him, he kind of be sounding tough. Like he, I mean, mm -hmm. like he just that nigga. Yeah. Like he yeah. Just, God. Like just I'm not. I'm not. And, and, I'm him, like. and not. And not just with rappers. I'm somebody that if 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 we walk in the door, one of your homies walk in here right now, and he start talking about he done done this in the street and he done pop this and rob this and all that. I'm gonna believe the nigga off top until you give me a reason to feel like nigga, you ain't never done none of that shit. I take everybody on their word when I first meet them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that to say all this stuff. Uh, uh, uh Freddie Gibbs was popping. I believe you. I feel like I ain't have no reason not to. You know what I'm saying? With nobody pulling this card or saying no, you not. And now that the proof is on the table, yeah. it's like I believed you off top, and now he got proof to he got stuff to refute what you were saying. So I got yeah, no choice to believe that now. You know I, what I'm how you used to talk, I only thought you want to go see this nigga by now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how, yeah exactly. How y'all talking? Real. Yeah, I thought you would have been And a nigga showed that he gave you his number and address. <laughs> I was never a fan of Act. I was somebody that like I would watch his videos early on before anybody knew what he looked like and I couldn't even get through the video because I was like his voice just annoys me, bro. Yeah, but yeah. over time, like I, I like how the nigga moving now, man. I can't even lie. How you doing everybody? Check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a dweeb. That nigga's a dweeb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you get me? You get me? I mean, like, nigga, shut up, bro. I mean, like, uh, but, he, hey, he, like, I like he, how he moving these I'll days. He's a nerd, but he admit up. I, I was a nerd. I, yeah, I wasn't yeah. around no cool I'll people. I fuck with him because he himself, bro. I, I wasn't mean? around no cool people. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, athletic, it is. I wasn't none of this. I, did y'all yeah, yeah, see? Y'all see Van Lathan on his podcast though? No, 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 see, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't fuck with Spotify. You know, I'm Joe Loyalty. Man. I feel it. I feel <laughs> it. I was, I was, uh, I was rocking with everyone. Van was pretty Spotify much. Spotify ain't getting a dollar from me. That's the, um, the team. And I don't, yeah, team I don't even got Spotify on my phone. I listen to Apple Music. Oh, God. I feel it. I, I was on that too, but I was like, I want to watch the show. I be, I be trying to consume all the content. It's free though, right? Uh, yeah, 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 it's free. Spotify. I, 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 watch I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, fuck, I fuck with that, but I cheat you. I, I, I always catch the. <laughs> no, I, feel it, I, feel I catch the clips or I, 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 yeah. I, I watched the whole one of who we had on there. When he talk, I see him 21? on YouTube. I see yeah, him on YouTube. On there? And, and I'm not gonna lie, the thing that I rock with Joe too, and the thing that made me feel better is I'm a friend of the show. I, I subscribe to the Patreon, the Joe Button Patreon, on the top tier, the twenty five dollar tier. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm, I'm still I'm still giving tier. Joe money, so I can I can watch Spotify for free if I want to, there nigga. Exactly. Yeah, I ain't that much but a fan no. of a nigga to stop listening to some shit if I want. <laughs> I feel it, bro. What? What? I am. When, I, I am. I'm, I'm that type of fan. Me too. When Dra too. when Draco start beefing with RJ, cut off. Man, <laughs> I don't listen to no, I don't listen to no RJ shit no more. Man, <laughs> you get some no spins, nigga. You done. Yeah, you a op. You a op. <laughs> I'm that type of fan. Yeah, I'm done with you. I'm cutting you off. And say so I. I look at it like, bro, like if I was doing something, I would, I would want them type of fans. Bro. Yeah, I would like, want I'm, them I'm, I'm the type fan that like, yeah, and then niggas like, I was telling one of the homies, he's like, bro, you do that? Like, that's the type of fan I am. I'm the type of fan that when the, when Joe Budden, when the podcast come out on YouTube, I turn it on so he can get a number on there, bro. I listen to it on Spotify and Damn, I turn it on on Spotify it so on this nigga can get a number everywhere. That's the type of fan I am. So I hope when niggas subscribe to my, to my podcast, they, they, they turn my audio on, they turn my video on. Like, I want niggas to give me that stuff. Yeah, I know Mike, I know Mike, he's one of the more loyal fans, like, to anything. Like, that nigga, ride or die with Jay-Z. Anything Jay-Z say, I do it. 
Oh, he don't care. He don't care what he, he do. He don't care what he, he don't do. care. He gonna find the good. He gonna try to find the good. He one of them fans like Jay Z could do some slimy shit. He gonna find the good in it. Like maybe. You said yeah. it'll be I just feel like I'm pretty objective though. Nah, you not know. I'm not objective. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I think you one of the ones too. Like this thing, Jay Z don't have one bad song. Or nah, he got a bunch of bad songs. He got some. He got some bad songs. 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 He got some bad you gonna rock with? Give me something. Give me something where you felt like I was wrong about Jay Z. I mean, just look, when he signed the contract with the NFL. I thought like, that's what you was talking about. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> sign, I mean, even this. I think I talked. I heard you talk about him uh, when he he sold his uh, his share, right? Or so most his of his share, share of what? And, and top of the title. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think you was defending. Wasn't you defending him? Like I don't remember defending that. Okay. I, I might have remember defending that. I was just saying I. Right, I don't even know how I felt about that. I don't know if I ever gave an opinion on that. But the NFL thing, at that point, I just felt like I felt like he he's done enough for our culture and for our people to give him some leeway to trust that he's gonna that's what I'm to rock with him. That's what I'm saying. You're okay, okay, fan. okay. I feel like that's fair though. That's, <laughs> that's not, not fair. Not, that's not, not, not to me. No, yeah. not if, to a, me. if a nigga been out here paying this nigga taxes and getting this nigga out of prison and doing all no, this for like, like I can't help but feel like you gonna move. You gonna have that same type of integrity in a seat like that. I'm just saying, I will say though, to this point, like, and I and I'm also the type of fan. I still look up. I still look into the um, what's the, the name of the deal they did? Um, something. I forget the exact name of like effect change or whatever the thing they did with the NFL is. But I'm still somebody that still looks into that. Like, man, you was doing all that barking. Let's see if Jay Z is really doing all the shit he said he was gonna do. And in my opinion, it don't look like he, he's done enough. They've done some things, but for all of the controversy that was on that deal, I feel like. If it were me, I would make it a point to show niggas that like, nah, I'm doing everything I said I was gonna do. And in my opinion, he hasn't done that. And that, and that, what that was supposed to do, it's done some things, but I don't think it's done enough. Like to me, like you said, he got a track record of, of doing good things, but he also got a track record of like saying, like him and Dame was cool. He'd tell Dame one thing and then go behind Dame back and, mm -hmm. and tell he the, the record was a whole record. different thing. Mm -hmm. Like he, he also have a reputation of doing that. Mm -hmm. Just just like with the NFL thing, he. Got, he was rock before he was rocking with Cap, right? He was he standing with Cap or not? He was. He was. Tell, he was making people like not really want to watch the NFL. Yeah, he, he had a, he had a bunch of them people not do the uh, the halftime show. Yeah, he he, he was on that tip, and then they don't look fishy. You you turn around and sign a deal with the NFL after you were just telling us not to rock with them niggas. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. not a little, that's not a little fishy. You don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's all that. To me, it seemed like he just about that bread. Like, yeah, man. easy call. Jay -Z, I mean, DMX told us he don't have a soul. Yeah, he said, <laughs> like, he said it out of his mouth. He don't have a soul. He's, he's motivated by money. Yeah, he's motivated by money. He's like, got his ass. Cook that, man. Yeah, so you know he's me? Just, like, like I said, he's one of them niggas that I think is motivated. But like I said, Michael find a, a good thing. Like, oh, he'll try to find a good thing like, in it. Like, but nah, he. I'm I mean, yeah, but you feel me? That's when you rock with your guys, you rock with your guys. Like, y'all know I'd be the same way with yeah, me. Yeah, kind of you that kind of fan. You being and Drake, like y'all can't tell me shit, bro. I'm not that kind of fan. Cause it's like you know, hey, I don't think just, I'm as hard as a fan as Devon. Devon, different type. Of <laughs> I mean, I just agree with niggas. Like you know, niggas, I don't dress like these niggas. I don't act like like you feel me. I know how to separate myself from what I'm listening to. A lot of niggas don't know how to do that. A lot of niggas listen to see niggas, you know, see niggas play basketball, see niggas rap, hear niggas rap, see a nigga draw a certain way and want to do it just like him. Like, no, I might fuck with somebody, but I'm still my niggas, own man. Nigga put snow day. goggles on. You feel me? <laughs> he trying to be like, uh, walking. <laughs> um, I'm be like, sauce. <laughs> man, on some SSX tricky shit. You feel me? <laughs> niggas out here with snow goggles in the summer. Yeah, I'm just like, I said, there's certain people, like y'all said, y'all Y'all want them top fans though, they like Yeah, you want ride. you want them right or die. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just not I'm not I don't think I'm not a fan of like no. That cult like following, that. that's how you stay afloat. Like that's how you stay yeah. afloat. You feel me? That's how we got niggas like Trippy, like his music is not even really well known. But his fans fuck with him so heavy, you feel me? They gonna keep him afloat. Yeah, you like, tell me y'all argue about this. He ain't, he ain't gonna never yeah, is. like you know, he ain't gonna <laughs> never fall off. No matter what song, he could be trash. Like I say he could be trash, I'll go. You see it, they, find good in it. they say this the strongest coat uh out, out out right now is the NBA Young Boys. Yeah. 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 Hey, he got fan. He got yeah. some crazy like, They, they, they say he got them young niggas that yeah, they yeah. willing to light your ass on fire, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. That nigga Charles, he scared of Charleston White. I had me, had me crying. He got the streets and he got emo niggas. Charleston, <laughs> Charleston White disrespect LA gangs of the whole California nip everybody. He said something DMX. about NBA dumb boy. DMX he said something about NBA young boy. Them young niggas jumped in his DM and said, "Nigga, you say something else, we gonna light your ass on fire." Mm, mm, mm. He came back online and said, "Sorry, nigga, he'll never say that." <laughs> he don't never, he, he don't never apologize. <laughs> Dude, oh, did he say that? God. He said, "I never said nothing else about that." He said he ain't never got that many death threats in his life. He said, "I didn't say something about Nipsey." He said, "I didn't say something about everybody." He said, he said he had a million young niggas say, nigga, when I see you, if you don't say sorry, we going to kill you. Look, look, how, look how his fans went and streamed his album and downloaded his album. Yeah. Like, in jail. YouTube. Look at his YouTube No pro. No pro. Yeah, that nigga. Wild Drake was out. Crazy. Like, that was but that's because he only has YouTube numbers. He ain't got nothing nowhere else. He don't put music nowhere else. Yeah, he got album. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he put it out. I think he put it out on certain stream sites, but I don't think okay. he put it out on all. I, I was just reading something that said. Yeah. I heard it on the podcast. And, but he also one of the niggas that dropped so much. And I don't think his, I don't think his label approves it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but his official releases. Yeah, so his like, yeah, so okay, his official okay. releases go on there. But he drops so much that he just make videos to shit that he ain't supposed to. Oh, okay, got you. I ain't mad. And he so and he boom so much they like fuck it. Just, they just let him do his thing. Like mm-hmm. all right, go ahead. We only pay you for this though, nigga. You ain't <laughs> you ain't right, right, right. <laughs> do your right. thing. But we That's only... just to keep building your army. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but they say he got the craziest fans right now. But I bet shit, these young niggas these days crazy. So, so you're not like a, a go hard fan for no for nobody? Oh, no, no. Nigga, so. for the Vikings, that's it. <laughs> yeah, this for me. I'm mad at these niggas, but still. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't no fan of nobody like that. Probably like Randy Moss or something. That's the only nigga I'm a die hard fan of. I go hard for it. But. And I've been <laughs> thinking about that, too, because I always say, now it might be my pride in who I feel like me, myself. I I don't feel like I'll fall out for, for celebrity. Like niggas be rushing to see celebrities. Yeah, and I don't feel like I would, if I seen LeBron, a nigga love LeBron and shit. I'm like, if I see LeBron, I'm like, oh, what's the deal? Man? All I would need you to acknowledge me. That's yeah. all I need you to do. Acknowledge me. You wouldn't have to take a picture with me or none of that. Mm-hmm. Like niggas, I don't. Yeah, I don't think like. I thought I would be like that, but maybe maybe because it's for work. But like when I work at the Drew League and I see all like all my favorite players up there, I thought I'd be like, oh shit, it's KD, and I just be like. Oh. KD, yeah. Keep doing my job. This nigga just then, tall ass human. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Really, really. <laughs> Big yeah. ass human. Nah, yo, it's a nigga on here that say he'll fall out if he seen Drake. Well, I ain't go. I ain't gonna put him on blast. He said I ain't gonna put him on blast. He's lying. I ain't put him on blast. He already did. He just lying. The homie gonna hit you, man. The homie gonna hit the man in the mirror. I forgot. I forgot. He a shock value type. Did you say that? Did you not say that? What was your words? What was your, your, your point of view? What was your point of view? That was Bean. Kobe Bryant is the no, only person that, that I would fall Drake, out bro. if I seen it. I did get that feeling when I seen Kobe. That you is the you only fall person. Out about Drake, bro. Oh, you got to show it's me. It's in written. It's in written. You got to show me. It's in written. He's a nigga out to go through the group text. Yeah, you can't just say stuff like that. You can't just say shit like that. You put yourself on blood. You can't even say things like that. Man. You gotta, that yeah. shock value shit could get you killed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, bro. You just like, said it, man. That shit got to kill me, bro. He said, somebody else ain't gonna somebody take life to that. That nigga man. Much, bro. It's sad. Uh, maybe you, it's, I, maybe it just, I don't just came out and you were just feeling like that, man. Maybe that's not how you feel. You know that's not playing with so fast. You feel me? The youngest that we was talking about that's gonna light a nigga on fire for mm-hmm. him, he was lighting a nigga on fire for Drake. He <laughs> <laughs> be around here talking about mob ties. <laughs> he was cussing the nigga out on the on we playing the game. He cussing the niggas out like, no, nah, that nigga got mob ties, nigga. Get the fade, get the fade, nigga. You, 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 he don't no. got mob ties. Come catch me. He, he got mob ties. My bad. Was, we were to... arguing about. I was you, mad you, because this is the nigga, catch a nigga I fade. don't even know he was in my head piece screaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got mad. I don't even know. You're like, hold on, man. Who, who, who let this nigga in the group chat? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> and now I'm telling this nigga my government name and everything. Oh, God. Bro, come pull up, nigga. This nigga said I gave you my government name. Government name. I think I can drop the Abby like I didn't have bro, enough don't, tonight. Don't, I'm talking don't, about Drizzy, man. Don't know you. <laughs> you gonna make me catch a body like that. <laughs> Y'all don't think he got my mom ties up? No, no, I don't. He got Jay Prince. He got Jay Prince. Damn. 
<laughs> you got Jay Prince ties, man. That's too much money to just have Jay Prince ties, bro. That's too much money. I think that's the extent of his mob ties. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's too much. I, I think that's the extent of his mob ties, his street kid, everything. Yeah, that's the street. That's mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, he, got, he ain't even from the States. I know. Yeah, we know. Like, come on, bro. He, he wasn't, his legacy wasn't built over here. Jay Prince is not a nigga who he has something. He was a nerd in Canada. Yeah, yeah, nerd in Canada. This is where he, was, I'm he made his cool. Bro. <laughs> we talking about the Yeah, bag. you got money. What you mean? Yeah, what the money? Know, that matters. Matters. The, the, way, the way Jay Prince had to handle that, that uh, the Pusha T the Pusha T situation told you everything you need to tell. It's like Pusha said, he was like, ain't no, ain't no other man speaking for me, nigga. Like, the fact <laughs> that he didn't, like, come on, bro. Like, nah. He spoke for Kanye, too. That, okay. That, <laughs> that ain't okay, neither. Like, what you mean? That ain't okay, neither. I'm talking neither. about two niggas. You... You I see, seen Kanye's Kanye Kanye's t- he looked like a kid that just got drunk. You know how you ever been in trouble? Yeah. And you bought, your mama walked you back to the house that you just beat you up a kid or something? Oh, no. and you got the sour face. Sitting there. Yeah, you sitting <laughs> It's like you in trouble, but you still trying to look tough for your friends. It's like, I don't care I'm in punishment. <laughs> That's how he you told that nigga, read this letter right here. Yeah, he my nigga, reading off some shit. And, and you get, can tell that nigga writing because he was stumbling on shit. And get it right, nigga. Yeah. And we not like, gonna keep doing no Apologize to Drake. Like, damn. Yeah, well, that's, that was weird. Though. <laughs> All them niggas was under hostage. You could tell everybody was under hostage. When Drake said it, <laughs> Drake came downstairs regularly like, all right, bro, come on. He, uh, he, came, he, had, he had a little bit more pep than Kanye because uh, Jay, Jay Prince guy. already chastised that nigga. He didn't do it in front of everybody. Yeah, that's a good He just, yeah, like, hey, nigga, oh, you gonna do this? That nigga Drake had no that question. look on his face like he told Jay Prince like man I ain't really feeling that Jay Prince was like I didn't really ask you to I didn't ask you <laughs> what you about to do is stand here and take this picture nigga. I didn't ask you shit <laughs> that's what you want to wear <laughs> is that what you that's want? the only thing you get to say on it you, ask, you like your outfit you want to change okay oh, yeah, you got ten minutes yeah, nigga. You take the fuck out once I leave. I'm gonna make sure y'all both post this and shit. Then I'm gonna leave, okay? And I don't, and I don't want to hear nothing else about it. You niggas is cool after that. You gonna do this Jay Hoover concert, niggas? Listen, he told it all. He's sitting there with his chin up. Yeah, everybody, everybody, nigga, happy. Yeah, everybody, nigga, happy. He like, yeah, I just made a gang of money right now. Thank him, God. Yeah, y'all don't know each of these niggas gonna be on each other out next album. But it's like y'all I'm on parts of those. So it's like y'all might as well dead that shit. Like it's not a real beef. Yeah. I mean, neither one of you niggas gonna do nothing. Exactly. Yeah, they like, not, I said, don't they live around the corner from each yeah. other? Or something? And they be at each other's houses and shit, <laughs> like, hanging out. That nigga Kanye was crying. He said he does stuff. Like this nigga will he a DM your mama and her kid. He'll DM your mom, your aunties and your cousins and shit. Uh, this is I'm like, damn, crack. that nigga smacking on the Kanye cousins and shit. He mad. Yeah, he went through the family. He, he knew exactly how to hurt that nigga Kanye, bro. Yeah, that's exactly. why it hit to cut that deep. Mm-hmm. But yeah. he knew exactly how to hurt that nigga too. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> knew exactly what to do. So I'm gonna get at your mother-in-law, everybody you love. I'm mm-hmm. gonna make you think they all on my side. Oh Even if they don't. Mm-hmm. Exactly Even if they not. You, you, you sensitive enough to just my communication is going to get in your head and you're going to think they're on my side. Mm-hmm. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Nigga soft, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga soft, bro. Soft as shit. Yeah, we got to protect Kanye. And nigga creative. Yeah, yeah, we do. He a creative genius. You know what I'm saying? He creative Kanye. genius. That's where it stops. I don't really mess with that nigga, bro. No, I don't mess with Kanye. I don't really mess with Kanye like, like that, man. That, nigga, that nigga's done too much, too much damage, bro. He done, he done. Oh my lord, he done done too much backpedaling, bro. That better not be. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it had to be something else. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. mom dropped. Like after after I seen it for the second <laughs> drop, I was like, nah, nah, that's gotta you be fake. Like, bro, you just got your shit splashed. Does <laughs> <laughs> that ever happen to you in real life? You bro, ever done? yep. I she got shit in bro. Yep. Right, Granny lived in Torrance. Granny lived in Torrance around the corner. Y'all remember Deja? Yeah, yeah. I was fucking with Deja around the corner, standing outside, time to, well, we was all, I was already talking to her shit. I'm sitting there, we just in front of the yard, in front of our house, in front of our apartment talking. Bird swooped by, I'm thinking I'm cool sitting there. I'm on the wall, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting on the wall, talking to her and shit, Bird coming right by. <laughs> My whole shoulder, bro. My whole shoulder, I'm like, what the oh, fuck shit. was that? And it's like a back shoulder, so I can't see yeah, it. And I just feel that it's cold, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is Man, going on? Yeah, what the fuck? When I do like Drop this, the seat. she's Drop like, the you got a bird shit on your heart, man. She <laughs> dropped the air strike on the bird. Air strike. 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 Air
I remember, oh, I remember oh, it happened to me, bro. I remember I was in fifth grade, but I'm thinking I'm hot, I'm hot stuff because I'm the ball monitor. Like when everybody done my recess, everybody go inside. I get to stay outside an extra 15 minutes, collecting right, all the balls and stuff, right? And I remember like it's a class walking by, like oh look at Mike, and I'm trying to be cool. I got the football acting like I'm, you know, juking the air, juking nobody in the middle of me doing my shit. Bird get me, blah! I heard a whole <laughs> class, bro. They all going to uh, walking in from lunch. They all just start busting up laughing. Like, well, so, a nigga doing his juke moves. Oh, that's that's like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Lock my shit up. Uh, <laughs> Lock that <yeah>. nigga in. <laughs> so I, just, I just went Why to the bathroom. Like they get you time. like that. Because <laughs> even if you see a flock of birds, yeah, you can be, be focused ner- on one bird. And mm. it seems like when you move in, that one bird would be like, bro, mm-hmm. is, is these motherfuckers trying to shit on me? Yeah, all right. What about you, DV? What happened to you, man? Shit, bro, I was riding a bike. Like, yo, yo, Damn, bro, I hit you on a bike. Hit you on a bike. That bird was determined. Yeah, he was talking to you. It was a hot day. The guy was just smiling on my bike, bro. My God, and this shit just came down on me. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, right here. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. That's like you said, that shit is ice cold. Oh, oh, yeah. That yeah. shit is yeah. ice cold, bro. Yeah. Like, ice fucking cold. You, you would think it's warm. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck yeah. is that? Yeah. Oh. That's what he said. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, your face, bro. bro. I was literally pissed. Oh my god. I, I, I was told me she was like, you know that's good luck, right? I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I went and looked it up. I went and looked it up. Like, Google that shit, bro. <laughs> I've heard hella bro. people say that's good luck. That I've heard that hella times before. Bro. I don't, I don't shit, need that. that like, it's so shit. it's so random and so yeah, like the like chances once, of it happening. Yeah. I can see why people yeah, look at it like, like that. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah, turn yeah. it exactly. You can turn it into a good luck charm. Like, damn, yeah, like, yeah, I got shit on. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody but me. <laughs> Nobody but me. <laughs> but you niggas is jealous. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shirts all clean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never. Uh, I ain't never got. No, one. never got got. I be nervous all the time. Oh, you got. You say got bad luck. I mean, you got no good luck. Have you ever been uh, stung by the blue bug? The big jeep, the big ass black one? Nah, I never got stung by a bee, a wasp, nothing. I got stung by a wasp, stung by a I got stung by, got got stung by a wasp in my ear, bro. Damn, in my ear. It was a it was a nest when we lived in the southeast. It was a nest like up there, and we throwing rocks, hitting it with the water hose. And I remember I'm playing around, like throwing a rock, and it went in my ear, and like me trying to like block my oh, ear, I trapped it in there. And while it was while it was buzzing in there, it stung me. Mm. That shit sat me down for the whole day, bro. It was so much pain. My uh, ear swelled up. My ear, oh, God. Man, that was so much pain yeah, bro. inside my ear. I got I got bit by a June bug, nigga. Going to Magic Mountain, going to work at Magic Mountain, bro. Mm. Literally just walking up the hill, lands right here on my neck. Shit. I went like I felt it land on my neck. I went to grab it, and as soon as I went to grab it, he latched on. Mm. Like, Threw that motherfucker, my whole shit back here was swollen. Like, the whole shit. Look, like I had a fucking welt underneath my skin. Like, that shit was nasty. Bro. Yeah, I've been stunned by a bee, but I ain't never been stunned by no wasp. That shit hurt. Oh, that hey, shit hurt. I believe Shane never got. Y'all got bit by a dog or something? Or... No, I've never been <laughs> no, bit by a dog. I've never been bit by a dog. Yeah, chased. Yeah, chased. I've been chased several oh, times. I always had the wheels, though. Y'all seen that video? It's that like. Motherfucker get too close, you just jump on the car. You jump, bro. You jump. <laughs> Did y'all see that video? Or the, the nigga had like some wood you shit. Killed them two niggas. Yeah, the three of them niggas put them to them. sleep. You killed the dogs? The bro, dogs? the dogs was chasing them. Lady recording, she all happy, like, oh, they coming back. He jumped on the car, he got like this big ass wood slab. He got bitch. Wow. I'm talking about one bitch. shot. They going, no, they going to bed. They have a seizure. Like, yeah, like, nigga like this, turn it over. Yeah, not a lady, y'all not a lady like, oh, damn, no. Y'all, no, y'all see the lady push the bear over to save her dog? Oh, y'all did. See All her dog. She got like six <laughs> dogs in the backyard. The bear yeah. try to climb over the wall and she run. She runs push the bear <laughs> over, <laughs> grab two of her dogs and run up and still calling the third dog like, come on. Yeah, push the bear, bro. Push the bear, bro. And that bear is up there, like aggressively yeah, trying to get yeah. at some dogs, bro. She ran over there, pushed that nigga over. Like, that reminds me when a nigga went and ran up in two piece to kangaroo. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I seen that nigga. Hey, that nigga. He has a dog. Give my dog, dog back. Nigga, poop. Dog, hand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was about the John Legend. That nigga. What's the nigga name? From, from I am Legend. He was about the I am Legend. That nigga dog. God kangaroo God. had it. Nigga, come here. Come here. You got a fucking Big vest on this shit, come here. He held him, he held the dog like this, and looked like, what you about to do? Yeah. <laughs> That's right in there. Oh, yeah, you want to sell too? Like yeah, dog. yeah. he really, he really was looking at it like, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, Man. Come on.
Two piece to Nigga, piece to you. Watch out, nigga. I ain't playing about the little homie. <laughs> Man. Nah, that's facts. That's facts. That's an extension of your family. <clears throat> Yeah, that, I think that's all I have, man. We had we had a uh, memory card on the battery. We still got the audio though, but we had a uh, we had a video. Oh, this is cool. Good though. stuff, bro. Yeah, we 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 go definitely try to do this. Yeah. yeah. I'll run it back. Run it back for me. Run yeah, it back for me. That's a big ass bear, bro. Big. Yeah. And she's still like right there in his face. He could have snatched her. Yeah, yeah, he's trying, trying to get back over, bro. bro. If you see more of the video, okay, yeah. yeah. Bro, he's gonna show this nigga's on the wall, bro. He trying to with her. Got oh, she got cubs with her. Nigga trying to snatch a dog, bro. The dog gonna come out aggressive. That nigga gonna try to pull his ass up. Come here, nigga. He said, "We're like, oh, come here. I'm come gonna get here, you, nigga. Watch how he reach for him. Come here, nigga. Watch come the, here. Come here. Oh, you Watch the little one. Come here, nigga. I almost had you. Yeah, come here. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he had that one. That little nigga was about to die. <laughs> he had one. Yeah, like I'm about to eat you, eat you, nigga. You're done. I ain't gonna lie. My, dog my little dog would have been gone. <laughs> yeah, my dog would have been, man. My dog would have been just the dogs I could get to. That was yeah, smart thing. I would have my. He is, he is holding on to the shit. I would be like, I don't want this nigga to fall on. This is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, trying to get the gun. You feel yeah, me? God, I ain't I'm gonna be trying to get the gun. I, I, whoever survives by the time I get back is who gonna survive. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose one of y'all, I'm gonna shoot this shit out. That's real. <laughs> he easily latched on her arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, that's what yeah, I was gonna say. He her up. Her up. Towards her, like, she, she went all the way up. She went all the way up. Yeah, fell off the balance and shit. Yeah. She could have She could easily could've... fallen over the wall yeah. with the bear, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Been dead. She, she, yeah, she, been she tried dead. to Lawrence Taylor that month. Bro. Fuck them dogs. Hit that hard. Bro, you seen how much force she gained? She went like, yeah, lunch her whole body up. Like, bro, you could. I would even get that. All that adrenaline kicks. Oh, I wish we could have talked about Jesse. <laughs> they talk about that nigga next time. They talk about that nigga next time. But yeah, man, this was fun, man. Nah, it's the same thing, but oh, they, they still catching him for it, though. Just nah, yeah, this is cool shoot. Oh, oh, yeah, we talked about that. We talked about that. But yeah, man, it's Cuzzo Cast, man. We go do this, if not twice, for sure, once a month, bro. Let's definitely go do this once a month. This was fun, man. We didn't even do no intros and all, but that's all right. We'll, uh, I'll figure that out in the, in, the, in, the, in the edits and all of that. <laughs> Yeah, we need to for sure do at least. Two, I want to do at least two times. Yeah, two bet. times, man. Two times. Yeah, we got to drive out. To yeah, we got to pull bet. up on you. Bet, 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 bet. We could do that for sure. One time we pull up on you. You pull up on. Yeah, we can alternate. Yeah, we can yeah, alternate yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'm with yeah. that. 